Peyton Theisler will kick it away from Andre Tolliver. A perfect start for Arkansas on both sides of the football. Before you walk through this door, other doors have already been opened. All thanks to our network of dedicated mortgage professionals and industry partners, ready to lend a hand, securing resources, and taking care of details. So the moment you arrive at your new house, it's ready to become your new home. Franklin American Mortgage. It all begins with home. You're here to buy a used car, truck, SUV. That's smart. True Car can help. It's great for finding a new car, but you already knew that. It's also great for finding the perfect used car. You'll see what a fair price is, and you can connect with a True Car certified dealer. So no matter what you're looking for, you're here to buy a used car. There it is. This is how buying a used car should be. This is True Car. DirecTV has been rated number one in customer satisfaction over cable for 17 years running. But some people still like cable, just like some people like banging their head on a low ceiling, drinking spoiled milk, camping in poison ivy, getting a paper cut, and having their arm trapped in a vending machine. But for everyone else, there's DirecTV. For number one rated customer satisfaction over cable, switch to DirecTV. Call 1-800-DIRECTV. Who's ready for some ice cream? It's our post-game ritual. Honey, he's had a long day. Yeah. yeah. We've got ice cream. Ice cream. <laughs> Who's ready for the post-game ice cream? Dad. Honey, he's had a long day. Life Off My Years, a country song that was successful years ago, applies to Arkansas football fans in the Bielema era. A lot of heartbreaking losses, so close in 12 games, but just 5 and 12 in games decided by 7 points or less, including the loss last week to his great friend Kevin Sumlin in Arlington, losing 50 to 43 in overtime this guy still has a tremendous amount of confidence and a connection with his fan base and with the program that's unbreakable but at some point you want to knock down that door conversely jim McElwain down in gainesville is nine and one yeah. in games decided by seven points or less austin allen play action surveys the field as a wide open receiver how can you leave this man open he just had a touchdown. That's Deion Stewart. Boy, it's been impressive, the game that Dan Enos, the offensive coordinator, is calling. Look at that, the speed to push him off, push the defender off to Marcus Owens. And right back down the stem, the ball's in the air. That's hard to defend. You've got to respect the speed of Deion Stewart because of the last play. Boy, he is off. You talk about off to a pretty good start. <laughs> Deion Stewart off to an amazing start. 18-yard reception in the New Mexico State Territory. Now to the ground, and it's Whaley who will get a couple. Now, while they've had all these heartbreaking losses, Andre, they've also lost a lot from last season. Oh, yeah. Their top seven wide receivers in terms of receptions, including Cornelius, are gone. Raleigh Williams had to retire due to an injury. Three of their top four tacklers graduated. Led better and wise ran out of eligibility. Yeah, you hate to say rebuild, but you, know, you, you got to retool, certainly, with all that production out the door. Whaley got four on first down, and on second, he gets to the 40-yard line, just a couple yards shy of the first down marker. It'll be third and short. Yeah, that first drive, talking about Dan Enos, the offensive coordinator, he would, they are very balanced. Four yeah. runs, five passes, and now they're going to really get big here with Cole Kelly checking in. It's called the Steamboat Package. Four runs for four first downs and a three-yard touchdown pass for this behemoth. Don't kid yourself. This guy can throw the football. New Mexico State just has no chance, but the fumble comes out, and it looks like Arkansas 
has recovered the ball. Kelly moves the pile near the 35, but did cough it up. And it appears the umpire is going to keep the ball with the Razorbacks. How about Johnny Hibbett, the umpire, sticking his head in there? I mean, he is all the way down at the bottom of this pile. Watch him come in the screen. You're late. There he is right there, but he gets, I mean, his head is in the pile trying to figure out who had the football. That was Lou Fa Massino that caused the fumble, but it is a Razorbacks first down. Allen wants to load up, has all day, and intercepted. That is picked off by New Mexico State's DeMarcus Owens. And Owens gets in front of the Arkansas receiver. Yeah, they picked on Owens a couple of times. And it's intended for, for O'Grady, the tight end, on a deep route down the field. But right in position is DeMarcus Owens, all 5'10", 191 pounds of him out of McKinney, Texas. Answering the bell right there, and Allen just stared it down a little bit too long. All the momentum that the Razorbacks had. And now the Aggies have it inside their own 10. Quick throw, and O.J. Clark yeah. gets through some tackles for a nice first down play. Taylor Clark, when you turn on the film, he's super quick, and he's excellent, and I mean excellent, after the catch. He's a guy that reminds me a little bit of Manny Hazard, who I played with at the University of Houston. More, more quickness than speed, but boy, is he, he's solid after the catch. Second and one. And this is Larry Rose the third, one of the best tailbacks in college football. Third in the nation in terms of active NCAA rushers. Larry the senior from Fairfield, Texas. Record books, second all-time in rushing yards at New Mexico State, just under 4,000. Rolls Royce Freeman out at Oregon and Justin Jackson, the only current running backs in college football with more rushing yards. Rodgers. That's what I'm talking about. It's a Jaleel Scott. That's what I'm talking about with Rodgers, man. He, he is super impressive in terms of getting the ball out. Most quarterbacks in the shotgun. They line up about five yards. They give him an extra yard at about six, and it's hard to sack him, which was impressive in that early, in the early downs by Arkansas that they got to him. Rose again to the right side, and that's over 4,000 career yards for the senior from Fairfield, Texas. He'll take a breather as well, but this offense, you cannot make mistakes. They will force turnovers on defense, they being New Mexico State, with the interception by DeMarcus Owens, and then they can make you pay because they can score quickly. This is an offense that's hard to get a handle on. Rose, the only second Aggie ever with over 4,000 yards as Huntley comes into the game, picks up the block, and Rodgers throws it to the sideline. And good pressure off the edge, and it forces Rodgers to get rid of the football. It's Randy Ramsey that got that pressure, Andre to cause that second and 10. Yeah, they love to bring him off the edge. He's their razor player. That's how that's the name for that position. Kind of a nickel type or a nickel slash linebacker at 6'4", 228. Quick throw caught by Clark, who has some blocking and now has some speed into Razorbacks territory. And he's out at the 36-yard line. That's a 26-yard throw and catch. Did I warn you that the guy was good after the catch? I mean, you talk about Clark. Get it in his hands, and he's dangerous. I mean, right here, making defenders miss. He allows Santo Ramirez to, to swing, forced him to miss, and then added some extra yards after the catch. This little guy is a super football player with a ball in his hands. The 43 catches as a true freshman last year. Timeout, New Mexico State, they're first. We'll take it with them, 4.06 remaining first quarter, Aggies on the march. At Regions Bank, we're here to help you move your life forward. But managing money can be tough. That's why sometimes we bring in a little extra help. It's only $1,500. Mm-hmm. 
I'll use it this time, I promise. Sure. $1,500 for a soon-to-be very expensive doorstop probably isn't the best investment. Exactly. Look, you don't need fancy equipment to get in shape. Check out my personal program at tboflex.com. You should do whatever he's doing. It's free. Check it out. Regions, official bank of the SEC. If you want in the playoff, you got to win the SEC. Whoa! Ooh. So who's in? It's a 15-week fight to the playoff. So who's in to claim bragging rights over the SEC? Whew. It's going to be a crazy season. The college football playoff on ESPN. So who's in? Hello. Let's go for a ride on a Peloton. Let's go grab a couple thousand friends and chase each other up a hill. Let's go make a personal best, then beat it with your personal better than best. Let's go bring the world's best instructors right to you. Better yet, let's go bring the entire New York studio live. Let's go anytime, anywhere, with anyone who's willing. And let's go do it all right here. Ready to go? Peloton. Snacking has never been this exciting. At Graze.com, we combine wholesome ingredients with the flavors we all love to create over 100 exciting snacks, like these. We'd love to send you a Graze sampler box for free. Just go to Graze.com, enter the code TV48, and we'll mail your free box to your home or office. Join thousands of Grazers already in love with our exciting snacks. So come to Graze.com for your first box free. SEC Network Football is presented by Allstate, official protector of college football fans, and in part by Pilot Flying J the official travel center fueling the SEC. Gorgeous morning to go a little grocery shopping here Perfect. at the Perfect. Farmer's Market in Fayetteville. Why didn't you wake up and go get us some fresh get you some fruit grapes. and veggies, man? Some bananas, great vegetables out there. Yes, indeed. I should have. I was awake at 5.30 this morning watching that Washington State USC finish. First and 10. Rodgers has a wide open receiver down to the 15 yard line and that's Scott again who gets behind the secondary for 21 yards. Making the most of a turnover. That's what this team does. They're now plus four in the turnover department. The turnover margin and they are excellent at, or, in putting together drives once they force turnovers. And they are one of the best teams in the country in the red zone and quickly to the end zone. It's Broken up and picked off. That is Kevin Richardson in the end zone. The deflection by Grant Morgan and Richardson with the football. New Mexico State was perfect in the red zone before that play. A nice job of just kind of tipping the ball by Grant Morgan into the hands of Kevin Richardson, the, the team captain, one of the captains on this defense along with Santos Ramirez. Richardson's second career interception, his first against Mississippi State two years ago, and the nickelback, the captain for the Razorbacks defense, Johnny on the spot after the deflection by Morgan. That's a heck of a play. I mean, trying to go down the middle of the field, a linebacker gets his hand on the football. That's... that's uh, Example of the tip drill at its finest right there. Razorbacks from the 20. And that's Chase Hayden in the Wildcat, the Wild Hog, they call it here for a couple. Let's go down to Olivia. Well, Taylor, Tuesday night, Coach Bielema couldn't sleep. And guess what was on TV but his overtime loss to Texas A&M. So, of course, he watched. Well, the only thing that he learned there was about his quarterback, Austin Allen, saying he looked frustrated and upset. Well, they talked about it on Wednesday, obviously. Now, of course, he already threw an interception on that last drive. And I did see some head shaking on the sideline afterwards, upset with himself. But his comments with Dan Enos were still positive. Allen hands it to Hayden this time, and it's a... Um much better play near a first down about a half yard shy as Dalton Harrington came up to make the tackle be third and inches. I mean, you just have to sometimes accept that you're in a physical football game. And, and by that I mean New Mexico State, they're going to find themselves in one-on-one -on -one situations with these backs. 
One Whaley goes about 215. Williams at about close to 230. Hayden is a smaller home run hitter at oh, just over 190 pounds. But one on one, they've got to make some tackles. Hayden for the third straight play, and this time he moves the chains as Jaden Wright makes the tackle. You know, Olivia was just saying he feel him and watch the game Tuesday night. Maybe his wonderful wife Jen should have told him to turn that off. <laughs> Angry Razorbacks this week after what happened in that one. Yeah, no doubt about it. I mean, here, and there's some concern along maybe one of these big offensive linemen for Paul Arkansas. Ramirez. Yeah, the left tackle down will take a timeout. Hold on, Jill's texting me. New Buick Encore with Apple CarPlay support for iPhone. Smiling pal with who? Maybe she's walking her dog. Get 17% below MSRP on almost every 2017 Encore model. That's over 5,500 on this Buick Encore. Okay, I picked out my dream car. Now's the really fun part. Choosing the color, the wheels, the interior, everything exactly how I want it. Here's the thing. Just because I configured this car online doesn't mean it really exists at a dealership. But with True Car, I get real pricing on actual cars in my area. I see what others paid for them, and they show me the ones that match the car I want. So I know I can go to a True Car certified dealer, and it'll be right there waiting for me. Today, right now, this is True Car. Paul Ramirez coming off the field. See what happened to him on this last play. Yeah, okay, he's right there, big number 76, and you just kind of see bodies start to roll up on the back of his leg. He's sitting there in an awkward position, so hopefully he'll be okay. It's good to see him walk off on his own. Senior from Rialto, California, out of the game now. The sophomore from Conway, Arkansas, Colton Jackson, number 74 now, the left tackle. And the running back shuffling continues. David Williams in the backfield with Allen, who quickly throws, and it's caught. And the run by Jones after the play, and he streaks down the sideline, though there is a flag down. It's going to be rough in the passer. It's going to be an additional 15 yards added on to this thing. Personal foul. Targeting number two on the defense. Penalty is 15 yards added to the end of the run. First down. And the previous play is under further review. It's Hanks again. Let's see just how high he went on Austin Allen. Right there, he's late. It's, it's I don't know. Questionable, not in the head area, but kind of high on the shoulder pads. I thought as a blitzer he would have his hands up and try to deflect the ball a little bit more than taking the shot on the quarterback. It was a blow to the head or neck area but the question will be was he leading with his head on the play. It's kind of almost like a block into the shoulder pads. I don't know that the helmet actually made contact. Worse than that's the missed tackles. After further review, the ruling of the field of targeting is confirmed. Number two for New Mexico State is disqualified. Today's replay official, Doyle Jackson, our observer, Richard Morales, and Jeff Roberson, Tom Ritter, and Ben Oldham back in Birmingham disqualify Hanks. So he's Just out the, for the remainder of this game. I guess the chest now counts as well. It's a tough blow for New that's, Mexico State. That's, that's questionable to me. I mean, I don't know that I'd have to see it maybe again to see if if it actually if he actually made contact with the helmet. But it's it's the helmet's right in the middle of uh, Austin Allen's shoulder pads. Meanwhile, it gives Arkansas the football on the verge of the red zone. Whaley in the backfield, and instead it's the sweep to Jones again. And Jordan gets a couple of, he doesn't think he was down, but there is a whistle at the 16-yard line. Well, he is dynamic with the ball in his hands. I mentioned earlier, they love to run him on speed sweeps, and he caught that nice pass over the middle on an in route. 
And this is a speed sweep I talked about. Just get the football. Some guys are just magical. He was the, right, Andre. It, Look yeah, at that. But he does step out of bounds. The le, watch the left foot as he comes out of this. One foot actually touches out of bounds. Second and five. And it's Whaley again, banging around near the 10. Well, I can't count the number of New Mexico State defenders that are reaching and putting hands on ball carriers for Arkansas and not wrapping up. He's reaching, his hand tackle, and they're running right through the tackles. And credit the running backs with you know, the power and elusiveness to, to break tackles, but find a way to get these guys on the ground if you're going to be in this game. Pullback Hendrick Jackson in front of Whaley on a first and goal from the 10. Straight ahead, running behind Ragnow, and they're near the two. It is again. Now it's this is Brett Beal of a football right here. This is where we're going to get rough and tough. We're coming right downhill, right into your face mask until you stop it. Trying to get it off before the end of the quarter, and they do. And Whaley is in the end zone. What did Brett Bielema tell you about his practice this week? The practices that he had? Excellent week of practice for that young man, and it's starting to show up in the game. Ragnow and Yelda Froholt, the left guard, two of the best in the Southeastern Conference, blew open that hole, and I think I could have scored from the two and a half yard line. You can make on that, that jump cut? I can make that. <laughs> Lumpert, the left footed kicker, and his extra point is true. At the end of the first quarter, Arkansas's up two touchdowns. The interception by Kevin Richardson set it up. And then Deb Whaley walks in. This season marks nearly 85 years of SEC tradition. At Johnsonville, we respect heritage. We've been making premium sausage since 1945. We're heading back to SEC country to earn our fans. On every campus, at every tailgate, every big game, all the way to the championship. Get fired up for game day. Made the Johnsonville way. When you look at the Mercedes-Benz GLC, with its high-tech cameras and radar, contemporary cockpit, 360-degree network of driver assist technologies, and sporty performance. What's most impressive about the GLC? All depends on your point of view. Lease the GLC 300 for $479 a month at your local Mercedes-Benz dealer. Mercedes-Benz, the best or nothing. Belt's biggest one-day sale is one big sale, this weekend only. Get 50% off New Directions apparel, jewelry, and shoes. Plus, buy one, get two free men's pants up to 40% off kitchen electrics. Take an extra 10% off mixers and coffee makers. Plus, scratch and save up to 30% extra. Belt's biggest one-day sale is one big sale. This weekend only. My name is Scott Jordan. My problem? I had tons of stuff to carry, but no easy way to do it. So I started Scotty Vest. At Scotty Vest, we make great looking clothing with tons of hidden pockets and unique features. Now, you can carry all your stuff hands-free while looking great. Gadget lovers, use our pockets for your cell phone, charging cables, and even a full-size tablet or laptop. Travelers, breeze through airport security, leave that extra bag at home, and know your wallet and passport are safe. Love the outdoors? Have immediate access to your headphones, sunglasses, even a drink on the go. Never worry about misplacing anything ever again. The uses are endless. Scotty Vest will change your life. Try it out. Visit scottyvest.com right now and browse dozens of styles for both men and women. There are jackets, pants, hoodies, and more. For a limited time, use promo code SCOTT to save 20% on your first order. Let's go, let's go, let's go. This is what we're doing it every day. It's football time. 
SEC Inside. Make it work, make it work. Make sure everybody goes through everybody. Gets inside the game. I want to go win a championship. Let's go! The Tennessee Falls on SEC Inside. Wednesday at 7 on the SEC Network. Presented by Regions Bank. Our day of college football continues with Kentucky hosting Eastern Michigan at 4 Eastern. And to cap off today, it's the Gamecocks and the Aggies in our SEC Saturday night game presented by Holiday Inn Express. Both games also streaming live on the ESPN app. Gamecocks had a close call with Skip Holtz and Louisiana Tech at williams Bryce Stadium winning at the gun last week. Lempert's kick is a short one and it's dropped by Isaiah Lottie, picked up at the two, and he's breaking tackles up to the 15-yard line. Let's check in with PB back in the studio. All right, TZ, how about down in the swamp? After Luke Del Rio led the Gators to a 7 0 start, Kyle Shermer files, finds Kalijah Linscombe, 13 yard pass. We are knotted up at the end of one down in Gainesville. There's life for Vanderbilt's Jay offense. Watt, there he is. He won't go quietly after that spanking they got last week against Alabama, trying to respond on the road against Florida. They had three first downs and less than 100 total yards in that loss to Alabama. Rodgers to the sideline. It's caught by Connor Kramer, but I think he'll lose a few yards there. Paul Rhodes is the defensive coordinator here in Fayetteville. Last year, he's a defensive backs coach. Of course, seven years at Iowa State as the head coach. Had some offers to be a defensive coordinator elsewhere, maybe even a head coach. But it's interesting, he has a, his youngest child is a decathlete at Iowa State. He made a visit to Fayetteville to watch her compete against the Razorbacks, met with Brett Bielema, they had an opening, and the rest is history. Second and 11, and Rodgers will take off to the sideline. Of course, Rob Smith was the defensive coordinator last year, Andre, and he is now since gone to the Minnesota Golden Gophers. So Rhodes takes over, and he's now running the 3-4 defense. Yeah, we had an interesting visit with him, trying to switch and go to what he's comfortable doing, and that's moving from the 4-3 to the 3-4. It's always an adjustment in terms of personnel, who fits your scheme. Kind of a, uh, a slow transition, a little slower than he would like of making that move. Third and seven, little blitz there, and it's incomplete as they force a bad throw. Right there in coverage was Dijon Harris on O.J. Clark, and you saw the stat that Arkansas was 99th in the country on third down defense before that play. It's interesting that Paul Rhodes said the strength of our defense when you asked him, Andre, is solidarity. Yeah, These it, guys believe in each other. It's across the board. It's uh, There are no stars in this entire group, and they play 11 as one. No returning, all SEC players. The linebackers, though, have been somewhat productive, and you expect that in a 3-4 defense. Weisler with a line drive to Tolliver, who can't break the tackle. He's at the 40-yard line. After a 44-yard punt, the Razorbacks are up two touchdowns and have the football. They used to laugh at us because the places that we lived were different. How they were built, how they showed up, different. A lot has changed since then. Energy efficiency, open floor plans, cutting edge design. Suddenly, homes built indoors, they're all the rage. Yeah, they used to laugh at us questioned everything about us. My question is, who's laughing now? Anyone can get you ready. Holiday and Express gets you the readiest because ready gives a pep talk. Showtime. But the readiest gives a pep rally. I cleared my Holiday and Express, be the readiest. Saturday night. Jake Bentley, he has re-energized the team, the offense. That's Christian Kirk. He might go. SEC Saturday night, presented by Holiday Inn Express, South Carolina, Texas A&M. Tonight at 7:30 on the SEC Network. 
I used to love going to sports bars for honey barbecue chicken, but now I'm doing the dad thing. Yeah, he is. So we go to DQ for the honey barbecue glazed chicken strip basket. I like this dad thing. I like this blizzard thing. The sauced and tossed honey barbecue glazed chicken strip basket, only at DQ. Shopping for your pets has never been easier. Introducing Chewy.com. I'm a stay-at-home mom with two young boys, so I'm super busy with their schoolwork and sports. So shopping online at Chewy makes it easier. It's convenient and it's reliable. We love the free shipping. Treats, toys, food in one to two days are delivered right to our doorstep. I recommended Chewy to my neighbors and my friends because the prices are great and they love it. Save 20% on your favorite brands and get fast free shipping. Shop online at Chewy.com. I used to love going to sports bars for honey barbecue chicken, but now I'm doing the dad thing. Yeah, he is. So we go to DQ for the honey barbecue glazed chicken strip basket. I like this dad thing. I like this blizzard thing. The sauced and tossed honey barbecue glazed chicken strip basket, only at DQ. The Big Hogs have run it 11 of the last 12 plays following one of the best centers in the country. Frank Ragnow, an All-American candidate, making his 30th straight start today. Brett Bielema thinks this is one of the best offensive linemen he's ever coached. Look at that phrase right there. Yeah, he's playing the best up front, runs well for a guy his size, and played as a true freshman. He's played a lot of football here, one of the the team captains, the offensive team captains, along with Austin Allen, but he is a very bright future after Arkansas. Play action for Allen. Dumps it down underneath the Hayden Johnson, the fullback, and he goes out of bounds just in front of the first down marker. Well, I tell you what, this is how you play the position of quarterback. Watch Austin Allen, one read, two read, three reads, then dump it down to your check down. That's excellent work right there. And credit the offensive line to allow him to get through his progression of three receivers before checking it down to his fullback, Hayden Johnson. Fifth consecutive year. Allen brother has been the quarterback in Fayetteville. Second and one. Old school, traditional smash, smash mouth, pro style football, and Peyton cuts it outside for a first down. There is a fl three flags on the field. Holding going on in the middle. So this one's going to come back. Holding, number 72 on the offense. Penalty is 10 yards from the previous spot. Replay second down. Right there, I mean, this is a handful of jersey working against Roy Lopez. It's rare for Ragnow to. I told you earlier, Lopez is a load inside. Tough against the run. He's going to give Ragnow some problems every once in a while. Fires off the ball, keeps a nice low center of gravity. He's a good football player. It's only the 10th penalty on Arkansas this season, first today. Now second and 11 with David Williams. Behind Allen. Wide open receiver caught at the 41-yard line by Jordan Jones. Boy, Allen took a shot to deliver this ball, but Again, Jordan Jones emerging among these young receivers at Arkansas. Solid playmaker, but right there. That's a kiss standing in there and then not even seeing the completion. Those hurt, trust me. Jones had two catches on the season. Now has three in this game. They're averaging 18 yards a catch today as Williams tries to follow his left tackle. He gets inside the 40-yard line. You know, right now, we're asking for comparisons when you see a great player who's a potential first-round draft pick. Yeah. And Brett Bielema was quick to compare him to Joe Thomas and even to Kevin Zittler that just got the huge contract from the Cleveland Browns. Thomas, one of the best tackles, really, in pro football history. Yeah, no doubt about it. Both now teammates. And he's throwing Frank Ragnow right in that, uh, that company. That's pretty high praise. Second and four. And it's Williams again inside the 35, approaching the 33, where it'll be third and short. Shamad Lomax came up to make the tackle. Lomax has been 
racing all over the field today as three interceptions last week. Razorbacks three of three in the first half on third down. again who puts his helmet down and that'll move the chains. Yeah, you're talking about Rag now and just how impressive he's been. I thought Ryan Kelly when he was at Alabama was the best center I'd seen in a very, very long time. He's so good at getting to the next level of shedding a block, passing him off to a guard, and then getting himself up on a linebacker. So that's something as we continue to watch this game unfold, let's just see how Rag now does that job in terms of the running game, passing off defensive linemen and then working to the second level. Trying to set up the bubble screen to Hayden. Blockers in front, but flags down as he gets to the 15. Yeah, it'll come back. Holding number 76 on the offense. 10 yard penalty from the previous spot. Replay first down. Paul Ramirez, who was banged up two drives ago back in the game. Keep an eye on 76. Right there, just there's the hold right there. No doubt, no doubt about it, right in front of the official. Referee David Smith. He's a former SEC quarterback, and you know that it's a holding call if he's going to take it. <laughs> protect those quarterbacks, you're saying? <laughs> First and 20. For the Razorbacks at their 40 yard line. For a handful to the 35 is Jonathan Nance of New Mexico State. Just some old school football that we're seeing so far here today, Andre using a tremendous amount of clock and letting the bigger offensive line of Arkansas dominate the trenches. Yeah, it's been more passing than I actually expected from Austin Allen. Dan Enos, as we talked, credited him for this, the game plan, it's been more balanced than I certainly expected. 17 runs, and now this will be the 12th pass as it's caught by Austin Cantrell. And that's going to put Arkansas near the 30-yard line to be third long. Uh, Cantrell is excellent at the point of attack, more, known more as a blocker. But talking with Brett Bielema yesterday, he's, he's gotten a lot better, excuse me, a lot better at, at uh, catching the football. Here, you got to put it away, though. Dropped the football there at the end of the play. But it is ruled a completion, so third and 11 for Arkansas at New Mexico State's 31. Remember, Arkansas has not made a field goal this year. Allen to the end zone, wide open! Touchdown, Nance! is their big play receiver, a junior college transfer out of Mississippi Gulf Coach Community College, and he just splits double coverage. They try to double him, he splits it, the speed, and the confidence of Austin Allen to stay with him because of the time he got from his offensive line. Extra point, good. Just to give you a sense, that's the fourth longest catch that Nance has made this year turned into Austin Allen's big play receiver, Jonathan Nance, with a 31-yard touchdown. The Hogs are rolling it home in Fayetteville. What is this? It's the new iPhone. It's for our anniversary. Uh, uh our anniversary? It's 34 days since we first met. I didn't get you anything. Oh, it's it's fine, because I got myself one, too. Oh. From you, for me, happy anniversary. I love it. That is very thoughtful of you. Thank you.
Get the amazing new iPhone 8. And with all AT&T Unlimited plans, get HBO for life. Less than $40 per line for four lines. Only from AT&T. Real people steal people. Professionals demand dependability on the job. Homeowners expect long-lasting value. And servicing steel dealers provide friendly, knowledgeable support. Right now, steel blowers start at just $139.95. And get the powerful MS250 chainsaw for just $299.95. Get yours now, only at your local steel dealer. Visit steeldealers.com or search STIHL. Game day brings out the best in all of us. At Regions, every day is game day. Dickies knows work is more than just what you do. It's who you are. It's where performance counts on strength. And comfort matters. Dickies Flex is engineered to give you superior mobility, advanced protection, and twice the durability. All backed by Dickies Unconditional Satisfaction Guarantee. So you know the new Flex series is made to work as hard as you do. Dickies Flex. Engineered to move. Learn more at Dickies.com. 21-0 thanks to that man making the touchdown catch. 31 yards out. I know that Austin Allen had the ill-advised throw on the second drive, but Arkansas has been in New Mexico State territory all four times they've had the football, Andre. Yeah, this is impressive. Two 80-yard drives. That's going to be in the 61-yard 60, drive. It's exactly what the doctor ordered. Lumpert. End zone, and they're going to say that's out of bounds, not reaching the pylon. So New Mexico State will have good field position. Let's take another look at that last touchdown that Jonathan Free Nance caught. Out of bounds, number 19 on the kicking team. Ball beat. Yeah, here's Jonathan Nance right here, and you watch the double coverage. He's going to receive at the top. A couple of ways to do this, but once he sees the two defensive backs level out. Now it's just a matter of splitting the coverage. Once you get it, you get them on the same level, split them with your speed, and how about that throw right there? That's about as well as you can do it. Out of the backfield, it's Rose who will get a couple as Grant Morgan makes the tackle with second and long. Morgan's had a nice, nice afternoon harassing the quarterback. Excuse me, Randy Ramsey has had the, the nice afternoon for Arkansas. I got my tins mixed up. It's only the third touch for Larry Rose in this game. Doug Martin wanted to get in 30. Wide open in the middle of the field is Jaleel Scott, the big receiver. He's been busy, and he gets near the 41-yard line for 19 yards. Yeah, there's a guy that needs to touch the football. They move him all around, and it's a matchup nightmare when he's one-on-one -on -one with defensive backs because of the size. At 6'6", I mentioned it earlier, 215 pounds. He's strong, he's big, he's fast, and he has excellent hands. Four catches, 64 yards near the midway part of the second quarter. Rodgers, a bullet again, and that's to the 25-yard line as Scott catches it in stride for 18 more. Yeah, and I would just check to it. I mean, he's running all the way across the formation. They've got enough respect for him where the defensive pack that's over him has given him about a 10-yard cushion, but watch this route, nice and flat. Doesn't really bubble up the field or start to drift upfield. He keeps it flat, and that keeps the separation from the defensive back to make it an easier throw. Now it's Rose with the fourth touch to the 21-yard line as Morgan makes the tackle. They had a drive going early in this game to tie it up at seven apiece before Rodgers threw the interception in the end zone to Kevin Richardson. Once again driving, and this is the type of offense that can get some points in a hurry. A big cushion at the top and the bottom. Rodgers looking to the top, now escape, tries to escape to the bottom, throws against his body, 
And they're going to say incomplete as they tried to get it to Jonathan Boone. It'll be third and six. Boone's thinking he caught that football, and I was thinking it as well. The umpire was in the middle of the field who was closest to it. And he was waiting to see if, if Boone rolled over with the ball. Now you're going to come up and challenge. Nice challenge up top. And take a look at this. The previous play is under further review. The ruling on the field was an incomplete pass. Jonathan Boone, the junior from Orlando, Florida. Seven catches on the year. Certainly looks like that one hit the turf. Yeah, I don't think it's enough video evidence to, to overturn it. Almost looks as though it kind of, it looked loose but attached to his knee. And then he rolls over and able to get his hands under it, but I just don't think there's enough video evidence to overturn it. Well, you see the ball right there. It's, I can't see it. After further review, <laughs> the ruling on the field is confirmed incomplete. That's because my friends Wayne and company built me this terrific television today to look <laughs> at that review. I can see the turf. Had a little bit of a football there. It's third and six. Now, will be four down territory here for Doug Martin and his offense to try to get themselves back in this ball game. There he rose again, not in the backfield. Empty backfield near the end zone to the two. It's caught by Connor Kramer, who's turned into a terrific possession receiver for Doug Martin and New Mexico State is on the doorstep. Yeah, he's just moved to wide receiver this year, and he's got the best hands on the team. You're in third down situation. You want to go to a guy that you know is reliable, that's going to make catches for you, and certainly Connor Kramer came up big there. Now it might be time for Rose. See some late adjustments for Arkansas as Gidry comes on the field and T.J. Smith comes out. And he fake the rose and Rogers walks in. Excellent fake. <laughs> Just an excellent fake and sold it. Everybody in the building thinking Larry Rose the third had the ball, myself included. And I mean, they crash down inside. It allows Tyler Rogers to walk into the end zone and get his team right back in this ball game. Scored 10 touchdowns and 12 red zone trips so far this season for Doug Martin. And Rodgers, 618 career rushing yards, puts him on the board as Dylan Brown makes the extra point. Rodgers with a couple of great throws to Jaleel Scott and then walks in. The Aggies on the board. Belk's biggest one-day sale is one big sale, this weekend only. Get 50% off New Directions apparel, jewelry, and shoes. Plus, buy one, get two free men's pants. Up to 40% off Kitchen Electrics. Take an extra 10% off mixers and coffee makers. Plus, scratch and save up to 30% extra. Belk's biggest one-day sale is one big sale, this weekend only. You're here to buy a used car, truck, SUV. That's smart. True Car can help. It's great for finding a new car, but you already knew that. It's also great for finding the perfect used car. You'll see what a fair price is, and you can connect with a True Car certified dealer. So no matter what you're looking for, there it is. This is how buying a used car should be. This is True Car. They answer every call and go wherever they're needed. They are the definition of bravery and selflessness. They are heroes. To the thousands of first responders across the nation who work tirelessly to protect and save lives, Zaxby's says thank you. You proudly serve our communities, and we are proud to serve you. In honor of our first responders' hurricane relief efforts, donate with us to the American Red Cross at zaxby's.com slash hurricane relief. This is a war unlike any you've fought before. Invade real countries.
fight real-time 3D battles against thousands of players with vast armies. But no matter the odds, your allies got your back. War Planet Online. Lead your army to victory now. Bentley, he has re-energized the team, the offense. That's Christian Kirk. He might go. SEC Saturday Night, presented by Holiday Inn Express, South Carolina, Texas A&M. Tonight at 7.30 on the SEC Network. Let's take a look at this great team play with today's All-State, all-hands-in play. New Mexico State needed an answer desperately, and they got it. And the former Jalil Scott, a couple of great catches to get this drive going, and then an excellent play fake by Tyler Rogers to walk into the end zone basically untouched. It's his team right back in the thick of this with Arkansas. Played at Arizona Western College in 2013. Last three years, he has been the quarterback for Doug Martin and the Aggies. Two and two now on the season. This is Warren from inside the 10. A big return last week, and he gets past the 30-yard line. Peter Burns, tell me what's happening in the swamp. Well, Taylor, just like we all thought it would be, right? A scoring festival down in Gainesville. Kyle Shermer, second touchdown of the day, finds Caleb Scott. They're knotted up in 14. All right, so the Gators up 14 to 7 on the doors there. 545 left here in the second quarter with the Razorbacks up two touchdowns. It's Whaley with daylight. Past midfield. His friends come in for the help. And they whistle him down at the 49-yard line. Shamad Lomax. Finally brought the whistle after an 18-yard run by the sophomore from Beaumont, Texas. Yeah, yelled the throw hole, the left guard. Ragnow, the center. And Colton Jackson, the left tackle, just opened up a gaping hole along that left side. For Whaley, I mean, that one you may could have run through. <laughs> the jump cut, I'm questioning, but that, okay. that hole there may oh, I'm going to have to show off my speed in weeks to come. First and ten, and it's Whaley diving forward near the 45-yard line. He is from an excellent high school program in Beaumont, Texas, Central High School, Beaumont Central. They put a lot of, a lot of young men into college programs. Excellent size, excellent speed. He can cut on a dime. 75-yard run last year. Over 600 yards rushing. Aggies almost offside as they throw it right on the line of scrimmage to Stewart. He scored on one of these plays earlier in the game, and now he's got a first down. Throws Terrell Hanks, who has been ejected for targeting on his opening touchdown to get the scoring started for Arkansas in this ball game, and then there again, almost came out of the. All stretched hands of an Aggie defender to break another big. Very quickly, Arkansas at the New Mexico State 37 yard line. David Williams this time is the deep back. Look at that hole for the graduate transfer from Columbia for 12 more yards. I'll tell you what, he is going to be. This was going to get a little, a little love in the film room here at Williams because he basically runs over his own man. I mean, he trucks what looks like an offensive lineman or maybe it was Patton, the tight end. It was. Jeremy Patton gets trucked by David Williams. That's the only, about the only thing that slowed him down on that play. Got his degree from South Carolina in retail management. He's thinking about transferring to UConn. He's from Philadelphia. Considering going to the Northeast, but Brett Bielema was pleading with him. 
Allen pumps a couple of times and throws underneath the C.J. O'Grady. And he's down to the 15-yard line for another first down. And we talked about Cantrell and him being the excellent blocker at the point of attack. But O'Grady is more the receiving type tight end. And then Patton's kind of a mixture of both the every down guy that can do both. And a nice reception there by O'Grady out in space. Grady's late father Larry Marks played basketball for Nolan Richardson in the late 80s. First and 10. Williams trying to find a hole and he'll get down near the 10 to the 11 as Lomax makes the tackle. 40 minutes of hell. 40 minutes of hell, How my man. That, man? That, well, those are some fun, fun teams to watch. Day and May Day. How about that? Now, yeah, before Oliver Miller and May Day, Larry Marks was playing for Nolan in the late 80s. Loved watching those teams play, and it was always Joe Klein against Akeem Halajuan <laughs> back in the days. How about that, man? Second that, and six. That was good stuff. A pump and then a toss to the left side, and it's Hayden trying to score. He does get the first down. It'll be first and goal Razorbacks as Ron LaForce prevents the touchdown. Uh, now this is where you got to rise up as a defense and try to keep uh, Arkansas out of the end zone. There's a there flag. flag. Yeah, there's a flag here. After the play, unsportsmanlike conduct, number 51 on the defense. Penalty is half the distance to the goal. Automatic first down. That's big Roy Lopez. All right. He's had a, a solid game to this point. Nice talking to by the head coach. Doug Martin. So Arkansas at the two yard line with Chase Hayden behind Austin Allen. Straight ahead, touchdown. The Aggies got to him, but not before Hayden broke the plane as he follows Frank Ragnow again. That's Hayden's third rushing touchdown on the season. And Johnny Gibson throws a nice block, number 62 in the middle in there, gets a nice push. And that allowed Hayden the room necessary to get in the end zone. With this offensive line, you got to credit the big guys up front this afternoon for Arkansas. Four touchdowns in five possessions. Arkansas has been in New Mexico State territory every time they've had the football. Chase Hayden follows one of the best centers in the game to pay dirt 28 to 7. You think it's just five guys between you and that rim? Try 500. Because for every guy you beat, there's 100 more out there with your same five, working on your same moves, all trying to steal your glory. So if you want to be the one and only, and not just one of many, give that extra ounce. It might just be the one that all the others don't. Gatorade, rehydrate, replenish, and refuel. Let's go, let's go, let's go. That's just what we're doing it every day. It's football time. SEC inside. Make it work, make it work. Make sure everybody goes through everybody. Gets inside the game. I want to go win a championship. Let's go. The Tennessee Falls on SEC Inside, Wednesday at 7 on the SEC Network, presented by Regions Best. Shopping for your pets has never been easier. Introducing Chewy.com. I'm a stay-at-home mom with two young boys, so I'm super busy with their schoolwork and sports. So shopping online at Chewy makes it easier. It's convenient and it's reliable. We love the free shipping. Treats, toys, food in one to two days are delivered right to our doorstep. I recommended Chewy to my neighbors and my friends because the prices are great and they love it. Save 20% on your favorite brands and get fast free shipping. Shop online at Chewy.com. It all started with a cardboard box. 
It's what my colleague put his computer on when sitting all day at the office became too painful. So we designed the first Veridesk. Lift it to stand when you want to, lower it to sit when you need to. I have more energy and I get more done. Our boss got the company to buy them for us and I love it. If you sit every day for work, the Veridesk is a must. It's sturdy and comes fully assembled. And if you don't love it within 30 days, we'll pick it up. Go to Veridesk.com to order yours. All right, coming up with the SEC Halftime Report, Gene Chizik, Chris Doring, and I will talk about these hogs. What are you seeing so far? I like the balance. Good distribution of running pass, Coach. Respond. They responded from what happened last week. That's good to see. No doubt. We'll also give you highlights of a great one. Offensive scoring battle down in the swamp and more SEC games. Back to Taylor and Andre. I like the light suit that Chiz is wearing today. Works well. You know, usually Doring and Burns get all the credit for what they pick out our coach is in the studio, sharp, but Chiz is looking looking strong today. This will not get to the 25-yard line. We have some sad news in college football is Joe Tiller, the legendary Purdue coach, passed away earlier today. Joe had a terrific stint as the head coach at Purdue. He passes away at the age of 74, won over 126 games, went to the Rose Bowl in 2000, and that man competed against Joe Tiller as a player or a coach 15 times in his career, and I'm sure he is coaching today with a heavy heart. Joe Tiller is one of the best people in college football. Yeah, did a lot of games at Purdue when he was a head coach. Here's some thoughts go out to his family. Tyler Rogers escapes the pocket, loads up down the field, and that's a catch near the 45-yard line by Jonathan Boone. Yeah, this one's long, a long way to the finish line. Boone is a long player who can make a lot of plays. He's their deep threat. Watch him work back. Once he sees his quarterback in trouble, scrambling around, comes right back down the line, down the stem for Tyler Rogers. That's 24 yards with all kinds of time for protection. Now deep down the field and it's batted down as Santos Ramirez gets a hand trying to cover Jaleel Scott. Yeah, excellent play on the back end by Ramirez, but this one you got to go up with your hands. He's waiting for the ball to come down into him. You've got to go up and snatch that thing out of the air. That's where you want big guys, especially a guy like Jaleel Scott at 6'6", 215, go up fight snatch that baby out of the air but you know, uh, give credit to Ramirez for making a nice play on the back end as well Had an interception against TCU a couple of weeks ago Rodgers escapes again continues to survey and finds an open receiver inside the 25 yard line that's Jaleel Scott again but I'll make it up to you if you just give me an opportunity that conversation took place quickly and with confidence Tyler Rogers goes right back to his playmaker Jaleel Scott. I think this guy has a very bright future as well. He's going to end up I'm not sure where he's going to be drafted but he is going to get an opportunity to to play professional football. 112 yards receiving as Ramirez is banged up. In the first half, that was a 30-yard catch. How about the time that Rodgers has had so far today behind that New Mexico State offensive line? Yeah, they need their captain, Ramirez, who is down. Made that basically a touchdown-saving play, the, the previous play. He's very, very passionate this week after that loss to Texas A&M. He's really grown as a player since his about his, his sophomore year. Kind of dedicated him, dedicated himself to being a good player. Worked his butt off in the offseason. He will come up and hit you. Not afraid of contact whatsoever. Paul Rhodes raving about this guy's dedication oh, yeah. and commitment. One of the loudest moments I think that this stadium has experienced in the Bielema era was the pick six he had against Florida last year. Let's take a look at this 30-yard reception that Scott had just a moment ago. And he wanted to screen there, and it, it's not there. Wanted a quick one to, hit, to the outside receiver. He keeps working, and then Jaleel Scott finds a nice little crease behind the secondary and they're able to hook up for a first down. That's backyard football. 
screen inside, goes to Clark, and Clark slides down inside the 15-yard line. Not a big guy, just 5'7", 163, but he plays like he's the size of Jalil Scott at 6'6", 215. He isn't afraid of anything. Clock is running. New Mexico State with just one timeout left. Again, Clark, who's hit inbounds, clock running, but I have the first it is down. a first down with nine seconds left. So it will at least stop until the chains are moved, and if they can get something called for it fast enough, they're going to go ahead and take the time out here, and rightfully so. The ESPN app is a fan's best friend. Stream every ESPN and ABC college football game live at home or on the go. You'll get access to scores, news, and highlights all season long. Download the ESPN app to start streaming now, I told you earlier, Andre, I was able to watch that Washington State USC game this morning when I woke up. I couldn't do 2.30 a.m. Yeah, like well, did. I stayed up at, you know, it was 1.30 about the time it ended, and I watched every bit of it and was, and couldn't take my eyes off the screen. And uh, it was a good football game. There, excellent timeout call by Doug Martin. You need the time and not the timeout. So instead of trying to run up, maybe get something called real quick at the line of scrimmage, you got now maybe maybe you can get two plays off in the nine seconds that's remaining because he called that timeout. But both plays have to go to the end zone, no, correct? No doubt about it. Unless you catch somebody wide open on a, a throw and, a, or a catch and run. To the end zone, the fade, and nobody's home. Oh, my goodness. He had a wide receiver wide open. I mean, they start up the field, and it was an in cut in the middle of the field where it comes wide, and Tyler Rogers just missed it right in here. There it is right there. Mm. That's a touchdown. Touchdown. That's six points that you cannot miss as a quarterback. So instead, the Aggies are going to have to settle for a 27-yard field goal attempt by Dylan Brown. And Mr. Bielema is going to try to ice him. 30 seconds on now. Big Jalil Scott. We talked a lot about him. Had two 100 yard games this year. He had three as a team all of last season. So he is, he, he is capable of having you know, a breakout performance. But I'm telling you, that last play, Tyler, Tyler Rogers is going to wish he had that one back because receiver, you don't get any more wide open than that. Tim O'Donnell is the long snapper, just cleared to play. Connor Kramer, the holder. High snap, good spot, and right through. Arkansas leads New Mexico State 28 to 10 at halftime. And we send you back to the studio. Peter Burns, Chris Doring, and Gene Chiswick have all the scores from around the country in our SEC Network studios. Indeed, Taylor, welcome Kevin. into the SEC halftime report. Peter Burns, Gene Chiswick, Chris Doring. Arkansas has won all five meetings against New Mexico State. They've averaged, uh, scored 42 or more points. Uh, in all of those five, they're on pace of that 28 to 10. Feels nice to be talking about a game that the SEC is in control of here in a new game. Chiz, what did you see in the uh, Hogs' first half? Well, the only word I can come up with is respond. You mm -hmm. know, we saw Tennessee yeah. last week. They lost a heartbreaker on the road to Florida. They came back against UMass. They didn't respond. This is exactly what you want to see if you're Brett Bielma. You want to see your team come over a tough loss, play a team like New Mexico State, and dominate the football game. Look, this offense right now... Austin Allen, look what Austin Allen's doing when you protect him. Yeah. Last week he got sacked six times. Right. They're protecting him. He's 13 for 15, over 200 yards. He's without his best receiver. They need to continue the running game. The running game was big last week. They rushed for 226 yards. These tailbacks by committee, whether it's Whaley, whether it's Williams, it doesn't matter. These guys got to continue to run the football. And, and I like the way they came out to add on to your respond word that you came up with. I like focus as well. I mean, to start fast the way they did, scored touchdowns on their first uh, four of the first five possessions, really were efficient. But to expound on what I said before the, the half, 
the distribution of runs versus pass, I thought last week they did a nice job. Danny knows committed to running the football more, and today they're doing it, as you said, with three different running backs with different styles. And you saw some of that, PB. We, we talked about the downhill run. They Big utilized. This is Arkansas it's football, Lead right? blocker up the middle, David Williams running physically, finishing, falling forward. That's the type of run that we've typically seen from Bet Brett Bielema teams. And I think they lost some of that identity by getting too pass happy over the first couple seasons with Dan Eno. No doubt about it. Uh, 322 total yards of offense. That should make Brett Bielema pretty happy going into half. Let's see what, what mood he was in with Olivia Harlan. Thank you, Coach. You were able to prevent another score, but what did you see on New Mexico State's last two drives? On what? New Mexico State's last two Obviously drives. Obviously, got to keep the quarterback in the pocket. I mean, they're... It's a whole game plan, idea, thoughts. Uh, coach has got to get him coached up. If he stays in the pocket, make him throw out of the hole, we got a chance. Offensively, you're relying on some less experienced receivers. What's opening up the passing game? Well, I, I tell you, Austin did a nice job staying in the pocket those last two throws. Um, patience, we got to protect them a little better. Um, we're running the ball effectively, just got to keep grinding it out. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. I need one of those pullovers with That's that low. Right? That thing was awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, Austin Allen, awesome. Thrown for two scores in the first half. That gives the Razorbacks quarterback nine straight games, guys, with a passing touchdown, which is the longest active streak in the conference. All right, other games going on right now. It'd be just when we looked at this game, did we think it'd be high scoring or low scoring? Yeah, <laughs> we thought it would be low scoring. The offense is uh, not the most proficient in putting up points, but it was a all-out shootout early on in the first half. How about Luke Del Rio under pressure, making a big time? That was a great job, and I'll, I'll tell you, he's still getting pressure. The quarterbacks mm -hmm. are still getting pressure, and again, that falls back on the offensive line. They've got to protect whatever quarterback's in there better than they're doing. Kyle Sharber answers. Yeah, the interesting thing, his numbers have not been good. I think 9 of 20 in the first half to this point in time, but hit some big throws and some tight windows. Samaji so Pirine, how about that? He had had... Uh, one, or I'm sorry, uh, <laughs> Michael P. Ryan, I kept calling him Samaji. <laughs> He's kind of playing like it. I mean, Samaji had the yeah. unbelievable career in Oklahoma, and, and, is, uh, and P. Ryan now has two touchdowns in his first half, uh, which he only had one in his whole career going into it. But we did see the big injury. Mm -hmm. uh, didn't get a chance to show it. But with Luke Del Rio going out, what happens for this Florida squad? Well, let's start by saying, you know, you talked about P. Ryan. He had a big outing today. But Del Rio, you know, good start getting Florida into the right plays. You see him getting landed on. And this is a guy that, you know, last year had two shoulder, shoulder surgeries, one to each shoulder. And for him to fall on that the way it did, you knew it wasn't good. They took him to the locker room. Obviously, no word yet on his status. But I, I think just as Florida felt like they were getting some momentum, some solidification at the quarterback spot, now you're thrown right back into a little uncertainty. What does that do to you, Coach? I mean, you're sitting there at halftime, and all of a sudden, this team looks different with Luke Del Rio when he's, he's at the helm. You lose him, arguably, maybe for the for the rest of the, the game. What does that do to the locker room going in half? Well, he definitely brings a different mentality to the football team. Obviously, when he's in there, there's a lot more confidence. But look, you got to go to the next guy. But it's the next man up mentality. So Felipe Franks, fortunately, has played a lot of football. Now the question goes, okay, who is the backup? What is Malik mm. Zaire's role in this? But when you go into the locker room, nobody can have any look of panic. They're in a tight football game. This game's going to come down to the end. And those players in the locker room, they have to surround Felipe Franks, and they have to let him them let him know that they are all in. They're 100 percent confident that mm -hmm. confident that he can get the job done, and everybody's got to up their level of play. Everybody. You were talking about Arkansas responding. How about Vanderbilt responding? 59 nothing last week against Alabama. They lead in the swamp, 17 and 14. They've lost 25 out of their last 26 games against the Gators. Big news out of Missouri, sophomore wide receiver Demetrius Mason no longer with the football team. He had started all four of the Tigers games this season. Second leading receiver, 13 catches. Third on the team with 119 yards. And St. Louis' post-dispatch reported Mason was dismissed for disciplinary reasons. How about Austin Allen? He's got those two touchdowns. You just give the ball to Mr. Deion Stewart and let him do the rest. He'd take it to the house, 38 yards. Hogs up 28-10. My name is Scott Jordan. My problem? I had tons of stuff to carry, but no easy way to do it. So I started Scotty Vest. At Scotty Vest, we make great looking clothing with tons of hidden pockets and unique features. Now, you can carry all your stuff hands-free while looking great. Gadget lovers, use our pockets for your cell phone, charging cables, and even a full-size tablet or laptop. 
Travelers, breeze through airport security, leave that extra bag at home, and know your wallet and passport are safe. Love the outdoors? Have immediate access to your headphones, sunglasses, even a drink on the go. Never worry about misplacing anything ever again. The uses are endless. Scotty Vest will change your life. Try it out. Visit scottyvest.com right now and browse dozens of styles for both men and women. There are jackets, pants, hoodies, and more. For a limited time, use promo code SCOTT to save 20% on your first order. If you want in the playoff, you got to win the SEC. Whoa! Whew. So who's in? It's a 15-week fight to the playoff. So who's in to claim bragging rights over the SEC? Woo! It's going to be a crazy season. The college football playoff on ESPN. So who's in? One of the cool things we do here at SEC Network, on the SEC Network Plus, you can check out the Razorback Marching Band. Dory, what would you be if you are in the band? What would you be? Maybe a drum guy? I, I'd be a, uh, a clarinet guy, you know, one of the soft guys on the outside. Smooth not jazz? <laughs> <laughs> like percussion. I'm just kidding, bro. Oh. All right, check it out. Man. SEC Network Plus, no clarinets from Chris Dory. And here's the best of our SEC Nation crew in Knoxville. This is my first time here. Uh, never, never played here. The last time I was up on the top of this building, Rutledge, the campus police was escorting me down. Listen, guys, we're at Rocky Top where there are always a bunch of friends. Hold on, hold on. I hate to interrupt you. Jump down. When General Nealon was the coach uh, and you were a student here, what was that like? Oh, I love Ryan McGee. And this place, gentlemen, is going to be electric. A little bit later today, and of course, as you saw last year, Jacob Eason scores with about 20 seconds left, and it was the Tennessee Hail Mary that got it done for those volunteers. And how about our SEC Nation crew breaks that one down? Rocky Top is where SEC Nation is. Tim Tebow, Marcus Spears, and guys, feels like Volunteers fans are ready, but at this point, FPI at least favors the dogs 70 to 30. What, what do you think is the biggest thing in this game, Tim? Well, I think they're going to come out inspired. I think they will, and I think that'll they'll play into the second half. But the question is, will they make enough big plays? Because I don't think they can win at the line of scrimmage for 60 minutes. But the only way they have a chance to win this game, John Kelly big plays, Callaway big plays on the outside, but I don't think it'll be enough at the end. Defensively, can you dominate the line of scrimmage? And, I, and for me, that's what it's going to boil down to Tennessee. I don't think Tennessee has enough offense to beat Georgia. I think defensively they're going to have to try to flip this game, create some turnovers, maybe even try to score on defense if you force from into a bad uh, situation. But right now, when you look at the game, Khalil McKenzie, to me, is the most important part of this game Dude, because yeah. he can be disruptive in the backfield against Georgia's run game. As much as, we, as our cards are the flying around, right as there. much as we <laughs> have talked team. about, yeah, I am. Uh, put me on the freak of the week next week. Uh, <laughs> as much as we have talked about this being a statement game for Butch Jones, could it be just as much a statement for Kirby Smart? No question, because I think they can show the dominance of what this defense has become, and also they got two great running backs. So if they come into Neyland Stadium, they dominate this football game, they're going to show that they're not only a top-10 team, they're one of the best teams in the country. Look, let's give Kirby some credit, all right, because the way this team performed last week against Mississippi State is not what we're used to Georgia doing. We're not used to them having consistency in their play and playing at a high level like that just because it's expected. I think the standard is changing. I think, yeah. in, I think you're seeing a new culture ushered into Georgia because last week and now this is the ultimate test for them coming into Neyland Stadium. Yeah, Nick Chubb, of course, making his return to the place where he injured his knee two years ago. He decided to stick around. He wants to be part of that culture changing for Georgia. All right, thank you, squad. Don't be surprised that this one gives us another close game and an exciting finish later today. Three of the last four meetings have been decided by a field goal, and each of the last six meetings have been decided by one score. What's crazy, guys, is we start looking at these numbers. Tennessee has lost 26 straight top 10 games. Uh, games that they play, so yeah. they play a top 10 opponents, they've lost 26 straight. Chiz, when it comes down to it, what, what, what's... What does Tennessee have to do to break that streak? To me, it comes down to opportunities slash missed opportunities. This game is going to have to be a game offensively that Tennessee is going to have to play 
almost flawlessly, CD. There's mm -hmm. no question. If you go back and look, missed opportunities. Go back to the Florida game. Three field goals left on the field, yep. missed. One red zone pick. They're 13th in the country in red zone offense. When they get down there, which may not happen very much, they got to score touchdowns. Yeah, they, they look slug in that Massachusetts game where they missed a field Absolutely. goal. You see it here. So, and again, you can see the missed field goals. Again, coming down, look at this red zone play right there. Pick. Yeah. That can't happen in this game. It's got to be about efficiency, guys. When they have opportunities, because there may not be many, you better nail them. If it's a field goal, you better nail it. In, your, in the red area, you better nail it because they're going to have to play flawless football against this Georgia defense to win this game at home. Like Mortal Kombat, like flawless. Remember yeah, that, that, the game? I love Mortal Kombat. But <laughs> the, the thing that's interesting to me is that all those games over the last eight years have been so close, and the last couple going Tennessee's way, to me, I look at the tape, and I see mismatches across the board at every single position. And this is a Tennessee defense that's missing Barry. It's missing Kirkland for the year. Uh, they're down a, a number of defenders there and leaders, more importantly. So you can try hard. You can want to win. But at the end of the day, there's a talent disparity and an experience disparity, in my opinion, particularly that matchup with Tennessee's offense versus Georgia's defense. That is the most complete defense in the conference, Coach. And I think this is one of those games that uh, that heart and desire not going to get you all the way all through. All right, but guys, this, okay, we saw Jake Fromm as a true freshman make his first start out in South Bend, right, in front of touchdown Jesus. That wasn't a road game. There was 30,000 Georgia Bulldog fans there. This is truly a road game. What do you expect from the true freshman the, from in Rocky? The great part about it is it's when you're on the road and you have Sony Michelle and you have Nick Chubb and you have DeAndre Swift, you can turn around, hand the football off to those guys. He was efficient in the first half of that ball game against Mississippi State last week, 8 of 8 passing. He only had to throw the ball 12 times the entire game. The offensive line for Georgia's gotten better. They got talent there in the running back behind him. He doesn't have to win football games for you. He can distribute the football to those talented backs and let them do the heavy lifting. He can, and I got to give Sam Pittman, the offensive line coach, some credit. The, we said going into the season they had to protect the quarterback. Mm -hmm. He's taken three sacks all year. So the, a lot of things are happening with the offense. Yes, you got a true freshman. Him going into Rocky Top, I don't see that being a big deal. He's got guys around him that can make it happen, and he's got a defense that can make it happen, and that's what Georgia needs. You made your, you made the, the point yourself. You said the number of games. I'm the smartest guy against, on, this, on this whole thing. Against yes. ranked teams at home, Tennessee has not had a history of success. It's right. not the same Rocky Top that it was back in the 90s. And they're trying to change that. I know Butch Jones uh, wanted to say that to Paul Feinbaum and SEC Nation. Real quick, uh, who do you have in that one? Georgia. 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 Both going Georgia. with Georgia. Auburn, Mississippi State. We didn't get a chance to talk about it a lot, but real quick thoughts on where do you see that I one? I said uh, Georgia's defense is the best in the conference. I'd say Auburn probably 1A there, right behind them. They or, are or, very, or as good. Very talented, so I think that's another tough matchup for Nick Fitzgerald in that defense. I think what's going to be interesting in that game, it's the first time you're going to see the Auburn offense have to respond against a good defense since the Clemson game. Yeah. You can't count Mercer. You can't count Missouri. How far have they come in protecting Jared Stidham how good will this running back be, running game be with both running backs in the game against what is considered to be, again, one of the top defenses in this league? That's going to be very interesting. Yeah, you, this is the first time all season long Auburn will have both Thunder and Lightning. Cam, right. yeah. Cam Betway and on Johnson. All right, down in Fayetteville, the Arkansas Razorbacks need a little bit more of this. Maybe going deep to Jonathan Dance. It's a good thing. 28-10 Hogs. That Bethany, the mobile game. This world is ours. Let your reign begin. Bethany, the mobile game. Download now. We hold dear the traditions. We hold high the trophies. But on this day, the Southeastern Conference celebrates so much more. 50 years ago today, the University of Kentucky's Nate Northington stood up and took one historic step forward. A few months later, he would be joined by Vanderbilt's Perry Wallace. Together, they helped pave the way for some of college sports' brightest stars and most unforgettable moments. A half century later, we honor these two men by competing and cheering as one. When the SEC takes the field, it means doing it together. All of us. 
joining hands from all corners. Yes, today we look back and are reminded there's only one way we will all keep moving forward. Together, it just means more. Network in the history of the world, SEC Network. Uh, South Carolina A&M, what do you think here tonight, guys? Well, I'd love to see Texas A&M come out and continue what they did last week. Had a lot of fight in that football game against Arkansas. Coach. I think you're going to see A&M come out and play the mm. best game they've played all year. Yeah, not having uh, Debo Samuel is a game changer for the Gamecocks. Mm -hmm. Not having Raleigh Williams at third is a game changer for Arkansas, but Devois Whaley helps heal the pain a little bit. His rushing touchdown gives the Hogs an 18-point lead at half. This is a war unlike any you've fought before. Invade real countries and fight real-time 3D battles against thousands of players with vast armies. But no matter the odds, your allies got your back. War Planet Online. Lead your army to victory now. All throughout the Southeastern Conference, college towns can embrace you. Campuses rich with tradition can lead you. Pulitzer and Cy Young winners can inspire you. But it's all of this together at one time in one rare place that can really teach you about you. Here, it just means more. Most American homeowners would be shocked if they knew just how rich they were. The average American home value has increased $40,000 over the last five years. But many don't know you can access that money without refinancing or selling your home. With a home equity loan, you can pull cash out of your house for anything you need. Home improvement, college tuition, even finally getting out of credit card debt. Come to LendingTree.com to shop and compare home equity loans right now. Because at LendingTree, when banks compete, you win. We needed to hire someone, but it was really tough finding people that had the right experience. I was spending half my day just reading resumes. To hire great people, go to ZipRecruiter.com and post to over 100 of the web's leading job boards with one click. Then, easily select the best candidates from one list. I'm seeing a lot more candidates with the right experience. We have gotten consistently better results from ZipRecruiter than anywhere else. Over one million businesses have already used ZipRecruiter. Try it for free today at ZipRecruiter.com slash direct. Marlin, in just a moment, offensive production from Arkansas today. Yeah, it's been impressive when uh, you look at what Dan Enos has been able to do in terms of keeping Arkansas balanced, both in the passing game and the way that they've run the football. They started out throwing this ball, throwing it around and making plays through the air. De Deion Stewart got the scoring started, and all of a sudden, Wiley got himself into the end zone, and it was Austin Allen through the air again and then capping it off was was Chase Hayden getting himself into the end zone nice job of just keeping things balanced and it's really confusing this New Mexico State defense you just saw who is playing with style brought to you by Belk New Mexico State gets the football first in the second half and it's Huntley coming out and he doesn't get to the 20 yard line. Let's send you down to Olivia Harlan. Yeah, Taylor, coach Doug Martin just told me they have to run the ball better and take some of the pressure off quarterback Tyler Rogers. The whole team in the first half had only eight carries and half of those belonged to Tyler Rogers. As far as their star running back, Larry Rose the third, they want him to get more involved in the passing game. Their goal was for him to have 10 catches. So far, none, and obviously having a hard time keeping Arkansas off the field and they weren't expecting that kind of passing game from the Razorbacks. Yeah, Olivia, they also wanted him to carry the ball about 20 times, so 30 total touches, but he is well off that pace for New Mexico State. He gets the football here, and he gets right past the 20-yard line as T.J. Smith 
makes the tackle. What's the reason for that? It's kind of bewildering to see their game plan so far today. Well, it's kind of what you're seeing with the defense and what they're able to give you or what they're giving the Mexico State's offense. I don't know that there's much pressure on Tyler Rogers is that he's just missing reads, forcing one with the interception and then a misread at the end of the first half that should have been a touchdown pass. Been looking for Jaleel Scott on almost every play. That time, Jonathan Boone, incomplete pass. Well, they, It'll set up third down. They play with rhythm, and when they can't seem to get themselves in that rhythm, it's usually early downs. When you go back and you watch the last couple of games on film, when they get going on first and second down, they can steamroll teams through the air, and they become very, it's very complicated their scheme offensively to defend. Aggies one of three on third down today. Rodgers touch pass, perfectly thrown and caught by Connor Kramer. This is exactly why he's getting some interest from some NFL scouts. Nice touch on the football. He's tough in the pocket, anticipates all the things we talked about early, standing right in there in a pass rush and dropping one right in. That, that qualifies as a dime to me. 17 yards. And Rodgers takes it out of the belly of Rose, keeps it himself. Dijon Harris on the tackle. And sometimes, you know, Coach Martin wants to run the football with Rose, but if that's what Arkansas has decided they're going to take away, then you got to find a different way to move the football. And they've moved it. They just hadn't scored. Normally, when they get in the red zone, they've been automatic. Second and seven. Almost intercepted. That's McTelvin Sosa again and almost picked it off. There is a flag down. The Sosa game has played a solid football foul. game. Personal foul, roughing the passer on the defense, number 23. Penalty is 15 yards from the previous spot. First down. It's Dre Greenlaw. You see here at the end, and you see him on the blitz, ball's gone, and then you put the quarterback on his backside right there. That's going to definitely draw the flag. Surprising mistake for the junior from right here in Fayetteville. Gives New Mexico State a fresh set of downs. Rodgers again with a nice strike thrown to Boone. Right, and for 11 more. Well, and there are about three, maybe four defenders around Boone when that ball's in the air. And it's complete because of the anticipation of Rodgers and, and, and waiting, not even waiting for it to come open. That ball's in the air as Boone is curling up in zone coverage. If it's a split second late, it's going the other way. Inside the 35 of the Razorbacks on the Aggies first drive of the second half. And Larry gets to the 31 yard line before Dwayne Eugene pulls him down. See here, watch the end of this. And see that that is where I don't agree with a guy having to go to the sideline after one play that you automatically go to the sideline. That should have been caught by an official, and Boone should have been able to stay in the game. Helmets ripped off and 15 yards to go along with it. Second and eight. All day again, Rodgers escapes underneath, and it's a positive play to Jaleel Scott. Just continuing to make plays. He just has a knack. When things break down and you get off schedule, Find an area that's open for your quarterback. Point that big one and six back at him, and he's able to come away with a nice reception. Rodgers had a big first half against Kentucky last year in an SEC stadium, and he's having a good day as he finds a wide-open receiver inside the 10-yard line. It's first and goal is Jason Huntley from out of the backfield yeah. for 20 yards. And this guy is cat quick. Not big at 5'9", 175, but he is cat quick, and you get the ball in his hands in space and look out. They'd like to line him up in the slot. He's about the same size as O.J. Clark. Same type of quickness, but maybe even more speed. 
10 receptions of 15 plus yards today for Tyler Rogers. He's just over eight yards here and Jaleel Scott, he throws it behind him, it's second down. They're trying to make a move a little bit too early. Cameron Curl, the true freshman at corner who has been very impressive for this Arkansas defense. High school safety, he's big at 6-1. They thought if he can't, if it doesn't work out at corner, we're gonna move him to safety, but he has more than worked out out on the outside by himself. Rodgers to the end zone, almost picked off. Stepping in front of the football was Santos Ramirez. It's just mind boggling when you, you go back and watch the film on Rodgers. He's done such a wonderful job of completing passes in the red zone, anticipating, taking care of the ball. He's thrown one interception already and then a near, near one there, but locking in on receivers, making his mind up. That's not how he usually plays. Third and goal from the eight. Middle of the field, touchdown. That's O.J. Clark. Excellent job of working the backside. Nice as well, the offensive line giving time to Tyler Rogers. Touch him here. He starts the right side of this formation, comes back, and just looks out of the outstretched hands of Kevin Richardson, who came away with a interception early in this ball game. Sneaks in there. Tyler Rogers, 262 yards passing. In the last three drives, New Mexico State has marched down the football field. They're in the game in Fayetteville. Watch me, watch me, do this. It's always been more than the music. You got it race on the back of my cruise ship. Look, watch me, watch me. I got a mortgage offer from the bank today. What? You never just get one offer. Go to LendingTree.com and shop multiple loan offers for free. Free? Yeah, could save thousands. You should probably buy me dinner. Uh, no. Go to LendingTree.com for a new home loan or refinance. Receive up to five free offers and choose the loan that's right for you. Our average customer could lower their monthly bills by over $300. Go to LendingTree.com right now. There's never been a better time to come to Bass Pro Shops than right now. Bass Pro Shops is the place for a huge savings, like savings of 40% on Redhead Bear Creek Softshell Jackets and save $30 to $80 on select Nikon Sport Optics. Belt's biggest one-day sale is one big sale, this weekend only. Get 50% off New Directions apparel, jewelry, and shoes. Plus, buy one, get two free men's pants. Up to 40% off kitchen electrics. Take an extra 10% off mixers and coffee makers. Plus, scratch and save up to 30% extra. Belt's biggest one-day sale is one big sale. This weekend only. There's a reason the University of Arkansas is one of the nation's fastest growing universities. We learn in one of the best places to live. Dominating national business plan competitions. We're among the top research universities in the U.S. Where teaching and learning lead to discovery. We explore everything. Our traditions set us apart. And bring us together. Even our sidewalks mean something. With the names of all our graduates. We leave our mark here. And everywhere. The University, University of Arkansas. Arkansas. Hope you're ready for another SEC Saturday night. Jake Bentley, he has re-energized the team, the offense. That's Christian Kirk. He might go. SEC Saturday Night, presented by Holiday Inn Express, South Carolina, Texas A&M. Tonight at 7.30 on the SEC Network. Let's take a look at who is playing with style, brought to you by Belk, New Mexico State, with the big answer on the opening possession of the third quarter. Yeah, nice touch pass. They're roughing the passer, move the ball 15 yards, and then up the outside to uh, Jason Huntley. And they cap it off with a touchdown pass to O.J. Clark. We'll say that's playing with style to start the second half. It's a short kick that's fielded at the 26-yard line. 
and taken back past the 35. Mexico State last one against a Power 5 opponent in 2011 at Minnesota. Andrew Manley led the Aggies to the victory throwing for 288 yards and three touchdowns as they would win 28 to 21. They haven't beaten a Power 5 opponent since. They're 0 and 21 against current SEC members. They lost every single one of those games by double digits. They're down 11 at the moment. Razorbacks finally back with the football. Seems like it's been an eternity. And that is David Williams to the 40-yard line. Well, if New Mexico State's going to continue to get back in this game, they're going to have to find a way to force a punt. Arkansas yet to this point in the game have have punt they have yet to punt the football so you've got to get off the field as a defensive unit you've got a hot offense to find a way to give them the ball back Williams with three yards on first down and in the backfield again Allen loads up has his receiver and hits Jordan Jones in stride that's 15 yards not going to force a punt if Austin Allen continues to play on this level along with Jordan Jones. Excellent route, creating separation and making it an easy throw for your quarterback. What I like as well is the end of that, just finishing it off with a nice catch. Jones just had two catches for seven yards going into today. That's four for 79. The line of scrimmage is Nance. He'll start running and get past the 40 down to the 37. It's Jaden Wright on the stop for New Mexico State. And junior college transfer is having a nice afternoon along with Jordan Jones, who's just a red shirt freshman. So along with Stewart, there's, there was, there's youth on the outside, but it's growing up in a hurry, and you see the playmakers that those three can certainly become. First down run for David Williams. Near the 32-yard line. He's kind of picking his way through. Williams, interesting story. Graduate transfer from South Carolina, as you mentioned. Told Coach Bielham a no three times before he finally said yes and then uh, and eventually made his way to Arkansas's campus. But you see the, the balance in terms of how all three ball carriers carry the ball for Arkansas. Now it's Whaley as the lone tailback. And he gets his eighth carry of the game, moving those feet past the 30-yard line. It's funny that Brent Bielema was talking about all those no's he got from Williams. He said, are we going to go on a date or what? <laughs> Finally, he got Williams to commit yeah, to the Razorbacks. And guess what? Next week, David Williams is playing at the South Carolina Gamecocks. He'll be a little motivated to play there. He's an excellent pass protector in the backfield. I mean, he is excellent in that department. A lot of scouts think that he will have a chance because of that. Big pressure from the Aggies, and Allen is tripped up by Lou Faumasino. And it'll be third down. And this is where, if you're New Mexico State, you've got to get off the field. You finally got them to third down. The field goal kicking has been horrendous for Arkansas this year. Big, big down here for New Mexico State. Yeah, this could be four down territory. See the perfect conversion rate on this down so far. It's a handoff to Whaley. And Whaley is shy of the first, tackled by Ron LaForce at the 26. And what does Coach Bielema do in this situation? I think there's no doubt that he keeps his offense on the field and, and he goes for it here. They've had a great deal of success running the football. If they get either Nance or Stewart, or maybe even Jones matched up against one of these DBs and they like the matchup. Hey, it's just a throw catch and you're one-on-one, -on -one, make something happen. But this is, a, this is one of those formations where you're gonna make New Mexico State guess a little bit. Allen, middle of the field. Great throw, better catch by C.J. O'Grady. 
first down Razorbacks. Well, that shows a lot of confidence in the sophomore tight end, O'Grady. Now, all the success that you've had out of the wideouts, watch him come here. Nice setup, squares it off. And I'll tell you what, they run some nice routes here. Michael Smith, the wide receiver coach. Brett Lund Lunny, they coach him up well. 11 consecutive completions for Austin Allen. It's very Lunny, the tight end coach. And now Williams dancing inside the 10. Trying to get himself on the board as well. Whaley and Hayden have gotten in the end zone, waiting on Williams to, to, uh, to cap the trifecta. All three running backs looking to get themselves in the end zone here. Dan Enos has had a 1,300-yard rusher the last two years. He said, who's your go-to tailback at crunch time? He said, whoever's hot. <laughs> Second and three. Williams gets to the six. When they are a load, all three guys, and you can see it. When defenders are there to make a tackle, all three running backs are falling forward for two and three yards each time they carry the football. Tough to bring them down. They, put, they run with great body lean and pads over their, over their bodies. It's impressive. Third and short on the 11th play of the drive. Arkansas's offense all six times has been in New Mexico State territory. First down, but tripped up at the three. It'll be first and goal from there. And up for the first down and almost came out of a, an ankle tackle was David Williams. Ron LaForce preventing the touchdown as Allen will go quickly and give to Williams again, who follows Ragnow to the one. Nice tackle by Jaden Wright. Coming up, stopping Williams just short of the goal line. They're making him work for it. A lot of plays in this drive, and it certainly hadn't been easy, but also that offensive line is starting to lean a little bit on this front. Seven of New Mexico State. This will be the 13th play, Andre, of this drive. Williams behind Johnson. Second and goal from the one. David is met in the backfield. That is Faamasino again. And that's a tackle for loss. He's playing with a lot of experience. Came back. He started nine games a year ago, or actually in 2015. This is his third year as a full-time starter. He's had played a lot of football at New Mexico State. You see him here, takes on Williams, who is a tough runner at 230 pounds, and he did not back down one bit. From Anchorage, Alaska, started his career at Idaho. He's up at New Mexico State. Now Whaley standing to Allen's right on third and goal. Timeout is called. Prior to the snap, timeout, New Mexico State. They're first. It was actually a great timeout, Taylor, because they were out of position. They're going to run the option. The they had a, a defender for the quarterback, but nobody for Whaley, the pitch man. Interesting to see what Dan Edos, the offensive coordinator here at Arkansas, decides to call on this third and goal we mentioned the impressive numbers for Arkansas the last two years. Only two programs, Boise State and Arkansas, had a 3,000-yard passer and a 1,300-yard rusher. Arkansas, in fact, used different tailbacks each of those seasons. Yep. And it's, it's been running back by committee here for a long, long time. So the game's coming up tonight on our family of networks. Going back just recently, that should be a good one. Ole Miss, Alabama, always a good one. South Carolina, A&M. But just recently, Jonathan Williams, Alex Collins. It's kind of always been running back by committee here. Now here's Cole Kelly 
in the game. They're going to try the steamboat package. He had a three-yard touchdown pass last week in four first-down runs. Be surprised if he throws it here. Wants to throw the jump pass, and it's incomplete, but a flag comes in. Deion Stewart was the intended receiver. Yeah, they're going to get the Ron LaForce or Jaden Wright for pass interference or maybe a hold back there, and it's going to be first down right on the goal line. Pass interference on the defense, number 21. Ball will be placed at the two-yard line, automatic first down. Saw that he was beat. You see him grab there. He was definitely beaten. Now Allen back in at quarterback with a fresh set of downs from the two. Williams the deep back. And again a whistle. Got a flag down in the corner of the end zone. Well, that's a delay of game. Illegal substitution on the defense. Oh boy. 12 players in formation prior to the snap. Penalty is half the distance to the goal. First down. Arkansas and New Mexico State both came in 100th in the country in red zone defense this season. While the Razorbacks have improved upon that number today, New Mexico State has not. This is the longest drive of the year for Arkansas. It's the 14th play. It took over eight minutes. And David Williams is not going to get in. He's going to maybe lose a yard there. He did a nice job of reestablishing the line of scrimmage. Look down here, Taylor. It's about who gets better leverage, who can get more push. Who's willing to fight and scratch and just move the guy in front of you just a little bit more than he can move you? Paul Johnson, if he's watching, has to be proud of the drive that takes this long. Watch for a pass here. On cue, but all kinds of pressure in the backfield is Cedric Wilcox about took the snap as Austin Allen was hit. Yeah, he is a good young player. Redshirt sophomore out of Williams Hutchins, Wilmer Hutchins High School in Dallas, Texas, a good football program, and almost, almost got the football out of Austin Allen's hands. Big, strong, very active, and they'll line him up just about anywhere. It's the sixth play that Arkansas has run inside the four-yard line on this drive. It's the 16th play overall. Right to the end zone, and Nance makes the catch. After all of that, the Razorbacks with six. Nance did an excellent job of getting inside position on the slant route, working against Demarcus Owens. And that's got to be timed just right by the quarterback, and Allen was right on time with the football. Lippert with another extra point. Starts, stops, starts, stops, but it finishes with a touchdown. Allen to Nance, Razorbacks on top. You give your all here and here. You're building a foundation that will lead to opportunities, that will open doors. Yet so many smart, talented student athletes leave college prepared to make money, but ill-prepared to manage it. That's why Regents Bank has provided more than 64,000 presentations in communities throughout the SEC to teach individuals good sense money management. Because understanding the value of a dollar is just as important as earning one. DirecTV has been rated number one in customer satisfaction over cable for 17 years running. But some people still like cable, just like some people like banging their head on a low ceiling, drinking spoiled milk, camping in poison ivy, getting a paper cut, and having their arm trapped in a vending machine.
But for everyone else, there's DirecTV. For number one rated customer satisfaction over cable, switch to DirecTV. Call 1-800-DIRECTV. My name is Scott Jordan. I'm the CEO and founder of Scotty Vest. Scotty Vest is a company I formed 16 years ago to solve a problem. I had all my gadgets and devices and no easy way to carry them. At Scotty Vest, we make great looking clothing for both men and women with tons of unique features like clear touch pockets, RFID blocking, the patented personal area network, and so much more. Scotty Vest will fundamentally change the way you think about clothing and the way you live your life. So, whether you're a traveler, a busy parent, or just love gadgets, I know that once you try Scotty Vest, you're going to come back for more. So, start now with over 50 different items beyond just vest, from shirts to pants to hoodies and jackets. Scotty Vest will change your life. Find us on Amazon or visit scottyvest.com. For a limited time, use promo code SCOTT to save 20% off your first order. All right, I am pumped about this. Here we go. Time for Mr. 1989 Heisman Trophy winner's hardware. <laughs> no Cougs. But uh, you look at it, and then uh, here's our my Heisman race in a particular order. But Saquon Barkley has just been outstanding this year. Almost uh, 853 total yards. Lamar Jackson still doing his thing. I think still the most electric player in the country. Luke Falk, 77%, 14 touchdowns, only one interception, definitely in the Heisman race. And the guy I picked before the season to start at Nick Chubb, and he has got the schedule down the stretch to put him right in the thick of things. I can't imagine what his emotions are like today back in Knoxville. Huntley runs into a Razorback, fumbles the football! Arkansas has it. That has been one of the things that has plagued Huntley this season. Putting the ball on the ground, turning it over, and giving the opposition field position. Right here, not a big guy at 5'9", 175. So when you get in a crowded area, you have to take care of the football. It's a nice job by Micah Smith coming in there from behind, knocking that ball out, and forcing the turnover. Devion Warren, their kick returner, also on the kickoff team, was the man that recovered it. I'm wondering if Dan Enos, big turnover, excellent field position, take a shot to the end zone here. Right at the line of scrimmage, but a Inaccurate throw to Nance. Now this is where you try to turn out the lights. We used to say kick a, kick the team to sleep. That's taking the fight out of them. You can quick turnover. Defense has been out there. It was a 16 play drive before they surrendered the touchdown pass to Jonathan Nance, and then they're right back on the field. It's only the second time today an Allen throw has hit the ground. And how about this run? Inside the 15 by Hayden, down to the 14. He is a good-looking young player, isn't he? Out of Memphis, Tennessee. True freshman. Is going to play a lot of football here for the Hogs. Father Aaron played running back in Tennessee and then for the San Diego Chargers. And it's time for the steamboat package again. That short yardage. Bring in the big fella, Cole Kelly. 6'7, 275 from Lafayette, Louisiana. An extra effort. But still short of the first, Dalton Harrington there on the tackle. I think I'd leave him in and do it again. I'll bring Austin Allen back in. And you can really, really dodge a heavy bullet here if you're in New Mexico State and you get a stop on fourth and one. So this, this defense, Taylor, they've got to be spent. So Allen instead of Kelly. Whaley in the game as well. 
The Razorbacks two of three on fourth down this year, converted on their last possession. And it's another first down. Streaking is Deion Stewart to the football inside the five. I don't think they have to worry about whether they have playmakers or not at wide receiver. Nance has stepped up. Stewart has stepped up as he did there for the first down. And certainly Jordan Jones has stepped up as well. They end up marking Stewart out at the six. But as the third quarter is ending, Arkansas on the doorstep once again. It's Hayden straight ahead, and he's inside the two to the one. Austin Cantrell, the tight end, with a really good block. Rob LaForce trying to come in from behind and strip that ball away, and Hayden, even as a true freshman, is smart when he gets in a crowded area, puts two hands on the football. The Razorbacks are going to have to walk 98 yards to snap this next football because that's the end of the third quarter and the teams will change sides. Arkansas is dominating offensively so far today. They're on top 35-17 at home. Steve Smith Sr. You ready to be a vendor? This job ain't easy. Those fans there, they're craving Dr. Pepper. Word is, you lost a step. Who said that? Not me. So why repeat it? Because you just retired. Your name ends in senior. Ha! Done. Wow. The... Huh? Check the replay, Larry. <laughs> wow. Guacamole? You were showing amazing potential. Let's go, Dr. Pepper. Hip. Let's go. This season marks nearly 85 years of SEC tradition. At Johnsonville, we respect heritage. We've been making premium sausage since 1945. We're heading back to SEC country to earn our fans. On every campus, at every tailgate, every big game, all the way to the championship. Get fired up for game day. Made the Johnsonville way. College mascots. When it comes to hyping up football fans, nobody does it better. But when it comes to mortgages, they're less confident. Fortunately, there's Rocket Mortgage by Quicken Loans. It's simple, so they can understand the details and be sure they're getting the right mortgage. Apply simply, understand fully, mortgage confidently. Rocket Mortgage by Quicken Loans, proud supporter of college athletics. This is a war unlike any you've fought before. Invade real countries. And fight real-time 3D battles. Against thousands of players with vast armies. But no matter the odds, your allies got your back. War Planet Online. Lead your army to victory now. Like to know how to fix a broken joint and make it as good as new without messy glue or exposed screws? Get the Craig Joinery System and create rock-solid wood joints as good or better than new. All you need is a drill and our Craig Jig to perfectly position hidden pocket holes for ultra-strong joints without messy glue or exposed screws. A Craig Jig will pay for itself fixing chairs, drawers, frames, and more. Craig offers a 90-day money-back guarantee. Get your Craig Jig at craigtool.com or at these and other fine retailers. Let's go, let's go, let's go. It's just what we're doing it every day. It's football time. SEC inside. Make them work, make them work. Make sure everybody goes through everybody. Gets inside the game. I want to go win a championship. Let's go. The Tennessee Falls on SEC Inside, Wednesday at 7 on the SEC Network, presented by Regions Bank. Our day of college football continues with Kentucky hosting the Eastern Michigan Eagles at 4 Eastern. And to cap off the day, it's South Carolina and Texas A&M in our Saturday night game of the week presented by Holiday Inn Express. Both games also streaming live on the ESPN app.
This is the 21st consecutive time New Mexico State's been on the field on defense, and Chase Hayden is in the end zone for Arkansas. Second touchdown run by the true freshman, Chase Hayden. Who has been very, very impressive. What more could you ask from Dan Enos today? Seven drives, six touchdowns, all of them have been in New Mexico State territory. And Limpert continues to be perfect with extra points. The fumble on the kick recovered by Warren and New Mexico State's defense has been on the field all day. Presented by Holiday Inn Express, South Carolina, Texas A&M. Tonight at 7.30 on the SEC Network. I love shopping for my pets at Chewy.com. They have everything I could possibly need for my pets at amazing prices. I love these guys, and I want to feed them the best. When I wanted to change Bailey's diet, I was surprised by the price of his new food. Then I found Chewy.com. With Chewy, I save on food, treats, and litter. Even shipping is free. There's no reason for me to shop anywhere else. Save 20% on your favorite brands and get fast, free shipping. Shop online at Chewy.com. It all started with a cardboard box. It's what my colleague put his computer on when sitting all day at the office became too painful. So we designed the first Veridesk. Lift it to stand when you want to, lower it to sit when you need to. I have more energy and I get more done. Our boss got the company to buy them for us and I love it. If you sit every day for work, the Veridesk is a must. It's sturdy and comes fully assembled. And if you don't love it within 30 days, we'll pick it up. Go to Veridesk.com to order yours. 42-17, Arkansas leads New Mexico State in the beginning of the fourth quarter. Armbands are being worn by coaches all over college football today. It's a coach's annual campaign for raising awareness and support for those afflicted with Duchenne muscular dystrophy. New Mexico State fields it at the three-yard line, and it's Boone that gets up to the 19. Let's go down to Olivia. Taylor, the Arkansas defense was not happy with how they started the half, allowing that touchdown. Linebacker Kyrie Fisher was telling his team, these long faces don't win ball games, and then they go out there and force the fumble. Now, I've also been watching defensive coordinator Paul Rhodes, and he's been saying, let's dominate the fourth quarter. It's about ownership now. And guys, remember yesterday, Brett Bielema told us Paul Rhodes can yell at you without even raising his voice. Well, I now understand what that means. Players show him their full respect and attention. Incompletion from Rodgers to the sidelines. Paul Rhodes is an intense man that is so focused on yeah. what's about to happen in front of him, has an incredible passion for coaching. I, in my opinion, got a raw deal at Iowa State and will someday be a head coach again in college football. Backfield, Larry Rose has no place to go. Dijon Harris right there with him. Very impressed with talking with him. With Paul Rhodes yesterday, and 
He just gets it. Loves to coach. Said if he's a head coach again, he, he's just so passionate about teaching young men that it would be, he would definitely coach the special teams in all four units just to make sure that he's getting his message across. Third and ten for Rodgers, and this guy will never quit. That's a great throw to Rose out of the backfield for 20 yards. That's why he's attractive to scouts. Well, the ability to run routes as a running back, almost like a, a slot receiver, so to speak. And so valuable in the backfield, carrying the football. It's a bright future. Again, Doug Martin said he wanted 30 touches for Larry Rose, and he has only eight. It's a one-on-one -on -one ball that is caught by Scott. And they're going to give him the catch down at the 37-yard line. Right here, let's see. He climbs the ladder. Ball's right in there, and that's that foot is in right there. It's in bounds. Nice job. It's a 50-50 ball with Cameron Curl, and it's good for 24 yards, but I imagine that we might hear a whistle. I'm going to take a look at it to just make sure Time the foot's out. in, but Arkansas. that last look we had, I, I thought there was no doubt that it was in. One thing I'd like to see Jaleel Scott do a little bit better and you know between now and when he starts to work out and his pro day and all those things is to uh, start catching the ball a little bit more with his hands as opposed to letting it get into his body. He's too big of a receiver to have that happen. Take a look at that play in just a moment. They used to laugh at us because the places that we lived were different. How they were built, how they showed up, different. A lot has changed since then. Energy efficiency, open floor plans, cutting edge design. Suddenly, homes built indoors, they're all the rage. Yeah, they used to laugh at us, questioned everything about us. My question is, who is laughing now? We can't guarantee that you'll be able to contain yourself at our breakfast bar. Morning, egg white omelet. Sup, lady bacon. Fruit. There it is. But we can guarantee that you'll get the best price when you book with us. Holiday Inn Express. Be the readiest. If you want in the playoff, you got to win the SEC. Whoa! Woo. So who's in? It's a 15-week fight to the playoff. So who's in to claim bragging rights over the SEC? Woo. It's going to be a crazy season. The college football playoff on ESPN. So who's in? Julio Scott has had eight catches for 138 yards, and this last one is reviewed, and it is upheld. Another great catch for Scott gives New Mexico State the football at the 37-yard line of Arkansas. That is right. I mean, excellent job of getting that right foot down. Larry Scott, no place to go. Into the arms of Aguin. The game has played a solid football game. Talking with Paul Rhodes, he said, hey, he can play anywhere up and down the defensive line. He's their best defensive lineman. Explosive, he's powerful. And 
just a sophomore. Larry Rose, the third, eight carries, 25. Fiftieth anniversary of athletic integration in the Southeastern Conference. Let me tell you about the Razorback Trailblazer, Daryl Brown. In 1965, he broke the color barrier at Arkansas. He ended up going to law school. Successful attorney in Little Rock. He was honored in 2011. Ended up passing away in 2005. He faced all sorts of adversity to introduce diversity. To Arkansas's football program is a pioneer that should be celebrated here forever. It's a short kick. It's fielded at the 26-yard line and returned up to the 36. In terms of breaking the color barrier, Andre Ware, you are the first African-American quarterback to win the Heisman Trophy. Yeah, and, you know, I don't think as a 20-year-old you realize that you're doing something special. You just want the opportunity to play the position and, uh, and and just help your team win. And then, lo and behold, something like that happens. I think as you get older, you know the significance of, of uh, what you've accomplished. I think there have been now seven African-American quarterbacks to win the award after myself. But it's certainly something that you look back on with great pride. First and ten Razorbacks at the 37. And that's Whaley who doesn't get back to the line of scrimmage. 
now trying to show up and help this uh, this team out. It has been a long afternoon defensively for New Mexico State. They're looking for one stop right now. One stop on third down or get to third down, get themselves off the field and force a punting situation for the first time in this ball game. Arkansas, this will be their 62nd play. New Mexico State has run 16 less than that on offense. Allen from a muddy pocket throws to the sideline incomplete. A great description because they were able to get some pass rush there and kind of muddy things up a little bit. Force Austin Allen to get the ball out maybe a little bit sooner than he wanted to. And now with third and 11, it's the perfect situation for Frank Spaziani, the defensive coordinator, and New Mexico State. This is where you have to get off the field if you're going to give yourself an opportunity to get back in this game. Third and 11. To the right with blockers in front of O'Grady, and he has the first down and more past midfield. Missed tackles once again by New Mexico State. They sell out to get to Austin Allen. Watch the flow of the defense. All those bodies around the quarterback, and very few around O'Grady to make the tackle, and the ones that were there are missing and reaching. And O'Grady finds a way to get to, Single to one the first of Arkansas down. Arkansas can see the shot there on the screen pass to O'Grady that Austin Allen has to take. 17 yards spent reception some time for in New O'Grady Mexico State in territory. Every single eight. one of Arkansas's possessions has spent some time in New Mexico State territory. Chase Hayden. And then a bunch of white jerseys show up around Chase Hayden. They have not given up. Still continuing to fight hard, and once again, an opportunity to get to third down and maybe get themselves off the field. Look at all the time that New Mexico State has Doubled them up. been on the field on defense. Eaton again to the 44. Komode Coffee came up to make the tackle, and it's another third and long for the Razorbacks. Old school song. Down and maybe get themselves off the field. Look at all the time that New Mexico State has doubled them up. Been on the field on defense. Again to the 44. Komode the one clocking in when you're clocking out sensing your every move and automatically adjusting to help you stay effortlessly comfortable there i can also help with this does your bed do that oh i don't actually talk though i'm smart enough to i'm the new sleep number 360 smart bed let's meet at a sleep number store 
Excuse me, do you have the keys for the razor case? No. Can anyone help me get some razors? No. It's kind of like they don't want you to buy razors. Get a DSC starter set for just five bucks. Join Dollar Shave Club today. Hope you're ready for another SEC Saturday night. Jake Bentley, he has re-energized the team, the offense. That's Christian Kirk. He might go. SEC Saturday Night, presented by Holiday Inn Express, South Carolina, Texas A&M. Tonight at 7.30 on the SEC Network. He wants a new home with a perfect backyard. She wants a living room that inspires. She's all about that rooftop. And they want a kitchen to live in. At Guarantee Great, we know every new home buyer is different. So we do mortgages differently. Unlike other mortgage companies, our process to find the perfect loan is fast and easy, no matter who you are or what you're looking for. Because the difference of a great mortgage experience can make, well, all the difference. Experience the guaranteed rate difference at rate.com today. The difference of Guaranteed Rate's digital mortgage, which only takes minutes to get the perfect loan. The difference of the intuitive loan finder that provides you with real-time rates and loan options. And the difference of amazing low, low rates that could save you thousands of dollars, all with our customer-first commitment. Visit rate.com or call 1-888-624-4545 today. Guaranteed rate. Our difference makes all the difference. SEC Network Football is presented by Allstate, official protector of college football fans. Overthrows Scott. Will seat close to 77,000 when they finish this thing off wow. here at Reynolds Razorback Stadium. Well, on their way into getting that thing completed, but once it does, I agree with you. Once they finished it, it finishes it. It's going to be second to none. It is quite impressive. A lot of stadiums in the SEC have gone to that. Formula Alabama has a lot of those sweeps in the end zone as Arkansas gets to Rodgers, but there is a flag down. It was Dwayne Eugene that made the sack. I think it's going to be holding here. Number 76 on the offense. Penalty is declined. Third down. And his Sage docks tatter. Now take a look at this guy. He's 6'7, 345. As you take a look at the hold here, that man is a vegetarian. How is that humanly possible to be 345 pounds and a vegetarian? Six foot seven. Third and 17. And almost picked off. Incomplete looking for Kramer. It was Kevin Richardson already with an interception today that stepped in front of that one. Trying to pick it up and a little bit late with that throw almost allowed Richardson to come away with his second interception of the day and he's had his hands on a couple he had the uh, the interception to save a touchdown early in the ball game and then he's had his hands on it about two other times since seven total pass breakups for the Razorback secondary Steisler punting from his own end zone and Andre Tolliver waves a hand, and Arkansas will have great field position at New Mexico State. 46 when we come back. It's been all of one hour, and already morale is low. There's separation anxiety, a flood warning, even a hunger strike. Lucky for you, 
There's Pilot and Flying J. With Wi-Fi, clean, modern bathrooms, and with an amazing variety of food and drink choices, you'll have the troops ready to rally in no time. I'm Jimmy. This is my definition of fresh since 1983. Every game day begins somewhere. Franklin American Mortgage. It all begins with home. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Is this what we're doing it every day? It's football time! SEC Inside. Make it work, make it work. Make sure everybody goes through everybody. Gets inside the game. I want to go win a championship. Let's go! The Tennessee Falls on SEC Inside, Wednesday at 7 on the SEC Network, presented by Regions Bank. Welcome back. Arkansas leads 42-24. Now, so much about the SEC is tradition and the individuals who make that up. So in our backstage pass, I want you to meet Clorinda Carr, or as Brett Bielema calls her, CC. She's in her 35th year as the administrative assistant with Arkansas football, and that covers the span, get this, eight head coaches. Now, she's the brains of the operation, managing coaches' schedules, and she really commends Coach Bielema on how he handles his players. Says he's so human and sincere with recruiting and with his staff, really, every day. And, guys, she would know. She's seen it all. <laughs> she's a rock. Great run by Whaley. Flying ahead for nine yards. Boy, I mean, they have got a triple head monster with Whaley, Williams, and Hayden. Whaley and Hayden are going to be around for the next couple of years. Whaley just a sophomore. Hayden just is a true freshman. I tell you what, a lot of talent at the skill positions. He said he needed over 150 yards rushing today, Brett Bielema. He has 169. And Hate Whaley will move the chain. So Brett's 26 and 28 at Arkansas. Through his first 54 games at Wisconsin, he was 40 and 14. And the key here is that 5 and 12 mark in those close games. You see a much better conference record through 33 games as well. But very easily, he could be seven, eight games better. above 500 if some of those late games would have gone his way. Any of those Texas A&M games. He's got to figure out a way to, to finish things off. Trying to finish this one off as Whaley will get near the 25-yard line. And you know, Bielema had it rolling between the middle of 2015 and 2016. There was a 12-game stretch where Arkansas went 10 and 2, but since then, they're four and seven. Injuries have played a significant role in that. A lack of pass protection and tremendous transition with wide receivers. Today they've gotten good play from Jonathan Nance and Jordan Jones. And De Deion Stewart as well, who got the party started. Whaley trying to finish the party inside the 25 to the 23. Miles Bean on the tackle. I'll tell you what, for a young back, he sets blocks extremely well. Patient runner. And the explosion you need 
after allowing blocks to set themselves is just phenomenal. But a couple of good ones here at, at Arkansas, as well as anywhere else in the SEC, in my opinion. 14 for 67 for Whaley, 12 for 48 for Hayden, 14 for 47 for Williams. Play clock. Prior to the snap, timeout, Arkansas, their second. Coach Bielema saw that. This will be a 30 second timeout. Saw the clock running down. Let's take a look at Arkansas's upcoming schedule. One thing to remember, just three home conference games this year, four on the road. They had the one game in Jerry's World last week at South Carolina, at Alabama the next couple of weeks in hosting the Auburn Tigers. Rebels back in town for a second, or in Oxford rather, on October 28th at LSU. And that Missouri game, try to exact some revenge at the end of the season as that one got away the Friday after Thanksgiving in 2016. About to get interesting on that schedule. Seven of their next eight games against conference opponents. That is nothing to play with. South Carolina can give anybody fits, and then you look at the rest of that schedule, and it, it will be tough, tough, tough down the stretch for the Razorbacks. Up. Get to start to get performances to, to you know the rest of the year like Austin Allen's putting on it. He's, don't have to worry much about it. Whaley gets a couple as Jacob Nwengwa on the tackle. It's fourth down again. I don't think there's any reason to send your field goal kicker onto the field. And here comes Jordan Jones, is, who has been just about automatic when he gets his hands on the football. Remember, they love running him on speed sweeps. They've thrown to him down the field. Keep an eye on number 10. We're two of two today on fourth down. There he is out here in space by himself. What a big hit. Can't get the football to Austin Cantrell, and Allen is laying on the ground after the hit by Malik Dimby. Those hurt, Taylor. When you turn your back to the defense on a play fake, Trying to bootleg, all of a sudden a defender's right on you quick. That's tough to overcome. New Mexico State gets the football back. Just lean back and let it go. Like to know how to easily join wood with rock solid joints? You just need the right tool. With the Craig Joinery System, you create perfectly aligned pocket holes with hidden screws, just like the pros, with a drill and a Craig jig to build any wood project. Bookcases, storage systems, picture frames, and much more. Craig offers a 90-day money-back guarantee. Get your Craig jig at craigtool.com or at these and other fine retailers. I can't believe they charged me this much. I don't know what I'm going to do. Ah. Go to CashNetUSA.com now. If approved, you may get the money you need as soon as tomorrow. Thanks. Who are you? I'm CashNetUSA.com. Man. Apply now at CashNetUSA.com. Money's on the way with CashNetUSA. All right, it's time to check in with our AT&T Field Pass. We go out to Kroger Field, where the Kentucky Wildcats are going to have their first ever meeting against Eastern Michigan. We'll see how they can bounce back after that heartbreaking loss to Florida last week. Back to Fayetteville. Kentucky and Eastern Michigan next. South Carolina, Texas A&M. Tonight here on SEC Network, Tyler Rogers of New Mexico State with an incompletion looking for Gregory Hogan as the Razorbacks trying to put this one away. A little uh, misdirection where you look one way, try to get a tunnel screen going to the back side, and it looked like Gregory Hogan lost his footing. Ball batted in the air as 
it's a game again who has been in the backfield a bunch. He has been something else. They have something special in a game. Sosa again is going to be a phenomenal player. I think an all conference player in the SEC before his days are finished here at Arkansas. Sophomore from Texarkana, Texas. And Bielema said before last season that he was the most talented defensive lineman they had brought into the program. On that third down play, it's Rose out of the backfield who has been taken away today. Grant Morgan with the tackle. And keep in mind, Grant Morgan was the defender who got his hand on the first drive by, by uh, New Mexico State. They were going right down the field, got a hand in there and tipped the football up in the air. And Kevin Richardson came away with the interception. It's been all over the field today for Arkansas. Chrysler runs up. Andre Tolliver says for everyone to get away from it, and it's marked at the 36-yard line. That's a 39-yard punt. You're watching SEC Network Football presented by Allstate. Andre Ware, Olivia Harlan, Taylor Zarzer here in Fayetteville where the Razorbacks are going to improve to 2-2 two and two on the season, up 42-24 with 3.46 left in the game. Time of possession has been a huge story today as Arkansas has had the football almost twice as much as New Mexico State. In and fact, I, even more than twice as much. Kind of a nice bounce back performance after a late game loss to AM in overtime last week. A handful of yards on first down for Whaley. Let's take a look at today's Capital One pivotal performance. Austin Allen threw an early interception, but other than that, he has been terrific throwing the football. Yeah, he has distributed the ball very well and has been extremely accurate. He's taken some shots, but bounced right back up and delivered for his football team all game long. Pretty impressive. 19 to 26, 264, three touchdowns, and the lone pick that you talked about. Second and four. And Whaley will carry the pile for the first down. He's not giving up on the play right there and getting some nice push and help from the big guys up front. Zach Rogers and Ragnow's in there pushing. 28th first down for Arkansas today. All week, our crew has been talking about how we expected the Razorbacks to pound New Mexico State into submission and play keep away from Tyler Rogers. And I have to give credit to Dan Enos, their offensive coordinator, and Brett Bielema for today's game plan. David Williams in the backfield now. get a yard so this is the fifth consecutive year that the Allens have been playing quarterback at Arkansas there's some notable quarterbacks that are brothers Jeff and Brian at Louisville the Hasselbacks at Boston College Brock and Damon Heward at UW and many years apart David and Derek out at Fresno State. Brandon and Austin, five consecutive years playing quarterback here. And their father, Bobby, of course, is the director of high school and NFL relations at Arkansas. And he's overcoming neck surgeries in the Bielema family box today, but would not miss the game. This is Whaley. He gets tripped up inside the 45 at the 44 by Nwengwa. Boy, he is so explosive. Had a defender coming off the edge who was saw the handoff, was closing down at a great angle, and then Whaley just turned on the Jets and blew right away from him to pick up about four yards. He's a good-looking player and is 
it's producing for this offense. Got to give Jacob Wongor credit for that tackle. Otherwise, he might have been in the end zone. Third and six as Arkansas can finish this up. And again, Hayden into the secondary inside the 20 down to the 16 yard line. That's a pretty good way to put a bow on this one. No doubt. I thought actually he would break back inside and then turn it into a foot race to the end zone, but watch here the big hole out the backside. And then right about there was a, I thought he was going to go back inside, but I guess he felt Javon Ferguson, the linebackers giving chase from inside out. And that's it. The last play of the game is a 33-yard run for Whaley. Puts Arkansas over 200 for the 28th time under Brett Bielema. 51 carries today for the Arkansas Razorbacks in a 42-24 win. And Olivia Harlins with Brett Bielema. Thanks, Taylor. Coach, your offense dominated today, almost 500 total yards. What did Austin Allen especially do so well moving the ball? You know, I think other than that one pick play, uh, I think he had a pretty good game. He had some great throws, did a great job of managing the clock the second half. I think we took a step forward. Um, obviously got some things to get, uh, get corrected. Big game next week, traveling in the SEC. What did you guys up front do so well to protect him today? You know, at halftime, we kind of had a little session about just playing a little harder, straining a little better, playing clean. We had a couple holding calls. Uh, hurt us a little bit, but uh, I like where the group's at, and we're going forward. Time of possession, over doubled what they had. How did your defense keep them off the field? Well, that's our formula, you know. For us to have success, that's got to be a part of it. Um, defense gave up a couple big plays we got to take a look at, but overall, to get out of here, stayed pretty healthy. Um, get a nice early kickoff, get a little more preparation on South Carolina. Now you're back at 500, 2-2. Two and two. How do you propel into your next two games on the road? Well, we got to take it one game at a time. If anybody wants to jump to the end, it's not going to be there, so... We got a, a great opportunity this week. Get a little, little good preparation against South Carolina. We'll chance to watch them tonight. Um, but you're in the SEC play now. And that's why we're all here. Coach, thank you. Thank you. Woo Pig. <laughs> he always finishes everything with that. That's his goodbye. Woo Pig. A 42-24 victory today for the Arkansas Razorbacks. You know, Andre Ware, all week people have been talking about what Arkansas's identity is. This is it. Run the football. <laughs> let the offensive line dominate the defense. Control time of possession. Yeah, to the tune of about 51 runs. Uh, that's what Arkansas wants to do. And they've got three dynamic backs who can get it done. And then you mix in just enough passes. I think maybe somewhere in the neighborhood of about 26. Uh, that's enough with Austin Allen taking care of the football, being dominant, allowing a big offensive line to continue to lean on them, lean on a defense all game long and wear you down. That's Arkansas football under Brett Bielema. It was tough watching Austin Allen walk off the field last week in Arlington after mm -hmm. that interception that Armani Watts had. He found his mojo again today. Yeah, he did. I thought he took care of the football with the exception of the one interception, but then he got hot in the passing game. And the thing with Dan Enos that he did for Austin Allen, he opened this game up, throwing the